You're checking out the Opie and Anthony oh, show. God damn. Tell a friend, will you? We could use the help. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Bill Burns studio stopping by. And uh, Anthony just told a, cr a great story. It's pretty creepy. I'm sitting here all like, yeah, shit, hop this. And you topped it. Oh, it was pretty creepy. It involved, you know, uh, uh, for someone I used to know going into the house of another guy I used to know. And they knew each other. They were very close friends. Uh, the guy went in, said he was going in to rob the house. Uh, the mother was home. He raped the mother, strangled her, killed her, and then uh, burnt the house down to try to cover up uh, uh, what he did. And we were just talking about when do you realize, wow, I'm in pretty deep here. Like, <laughs> uh, the robbery. If you just went in and robbed and she wasn't home and you were left with the stereo or whatever you're left with, you're like, yeah, even if you I got some drug money, whatever, you're in trouble. Your friend that you're you knew juvie. that robbed you're is going to kick your ass. Yeah. You, you go to juvie, whatever it is, you know, you're that. But when do you reach Basically, the point you're where saying like, your intention wasn't to, you know, probably even rape her and strangle her and, and set the, the, you didn't go in with that. It Man. probably, it probably starts off like, dude, we'll get like 50 bucks. We'll get a keg. Yeah. We'll yeah. go down to the beach, you know? Bottom line, yeah. you get suspended again. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's going to be great. Whatever. Whatever happens. And then you're like standing over the raped, murdered body of your friend going, I'm pot committed here. Yeah. I really, I'm all, I, I'm, all I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm pot committed. I know my hand doesn't look that good, but I already got too much in the pot. What the hell? I'm a, I'm a good bluffer. I got to I gotta hope uh, they fold. <laughs> what, about, what about the kid outside sitting in the car? Going, Gee, it's really taking a lot of time. And all of a sudden, the, kid, the other dude comes running out, like, buckling up his pants in this smoke, <laughs> smiling out, going, I'm going to guess something else happened in there, huh? Yeah, with no no stereo? What happens? <laughs> he, he's he's got no out, goods going, on him. Go, 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 go! Just hit it, hit it, hit the guy. Can leave the lights off. Leave the lights off. How sloppy are you with, with evidence that they find it through a burned house? I know. How bad I, of a criminal are you? Yeah, when, well, apparently, when you go into a house to burn it down, uh, or... or, or you, your intent is not to burn it down, and then you, you spontaneously have to burn a house down. Yeah. It's a lot harder than you think, I guess. <laughs> you can't just put a match to something, especially when uh, some murdered, raped woman is laying there. A time is of the essence, I'm sure. Uh, it's huh. not like you have gasoline, and I yeah, think he just threw a match in something and thought it was going to you know, burn up the whole house. And then you got to act cool in school the next oh, day. Like, God. Hey, sweat. did you hear what happened? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about oh, here? Oh, yeah, tragic. His friends are all giving him crap at lunchtime. <laughs> Look at you, Mike. It was the last time you got laid. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. You smell like smoke. <laughs> smoke? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just smoked before I came in. What, pine? <laughs> That's where you got to fix things a little bit. Like, you got to try to make the scene something so it looks natural. Like, prop the mother up smiling with a cigar. <laughs> so it looks like some kind of an odd accident. <laughs> Leave the prices right on television. Something tells me this wasn't of her own doing. <laughs> no, but you know, no matter what you do, they somehow always find the cause. And yeah. They find, no matter how much you burn, you could start a fire with a piece of paper and a match. Now, doesn't that just like burn up? Yeah. You, know, you, you could burn down a skyscraper, and some fireman will come walking out with like the spiral from the like the loose leaf. Yeah. Book. Well, yeah, it was obviously this there. piece of paper and this match. I never got what that. What happened? How they can figure that crap we out? Found Amazing. Some fried semen. <laughs> yeah. Around, and we realized that there was some uh, sort of. We were able to obtain some DNA from this uh, barbecued batch, <laughs> and um, it matches. You could tell by the angry look <laughs> on the uh, the. the uh, can I use the word semen? Uh, no, it? not really. No. I, I'm sure Al's uh, uh, having all, fun with that down the hall. Context. Who knows? Uh, but but you have a story, Bill. You were saying yeah. in the green room. Yeah. Everyone's it's, got it's one of these. Really should have opened for Anthony's. But, uh, uh, I really thought I had the the one, but I turned to him. I could see in his face that he was going to top me. Yeah, I, it the had second, all the features. The second he said he had a Lulu. Yeah, a oh, Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> I got a Lulu. Norton, I got a Lulu. <laughs> and he was confident because he passed off. Go ahead, you tell yeah, your go story. Go ahead, your tell tale. yours. <laughs> so I try to give my story a little more oof at that point. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> I gotta do something here. Oh, someone ended up dead in your story. That's cute. Yeah, that's that, cute. yeah, that's what you basically said in my story yeah. and Jimmy's story, and then you you told your own yeah. Lulu. What? No, um, uh, a rape, <laughs> an arson, no arson. I you usually figure if you got a body in your story that it's that's good, good enough. Yeah, you can go online. It's good enough. All right. Well, here, here's my uh, here's my story. There, 
There was some kid when I was a senior, there was this kid who was a freshman. And he invited some kid out into the woods. And they go out in the woods. It was snowing out or whatever. It had snowed. And he's behind the kid. And he started walking in his tracks without the kid knowing. And he just took out a bat. And just bludgeoned this kid to death. <laughs> oh, goes, all right. Goes to school the next day. And uh, I don't know, after a couple of days, he had a couple other friends, took them out there individually, showed them the body, and said, if you guys say anything, I'm going to kill you. So these kids were just sitting, I guess, freaking out for like. What oh, a friggin' lunatic. Yeah, took, like, the body was just hanging out in the woods rotting? Yeah. It was well, kind of I mean, cold, was, I bet. If it was like, I don't know, like, it, it was brutal, man. And then uh, when they finally, yeah, they finally ended up finding him, you know, his usual. You was know, one of those boys little Billy Burr? Uh -huh. No. Oh, okay. No, he wasn't. No, if it wasn't, I'd be like, I can top your story, buddy. Well, I know. I that that would that would top it. I was there. <laughs> that was the guy with the bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that tops it. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Call the authorities. <laughs> they ran. Me I was out. 32 and uh, <laughs> yeah. just put my life back together, guys. <laughs> no, and uh, then they, they caught him. <clears throat> he had like a hit list that involved a couple kids that he showed the body and like a teacher. Wow. He was like failing history or something. So that ah, guy, well, then he had a reason. Had yeah. Is, the, that, kid, is so, the kid still in jail? Um, I actually saw something on TV recently where uh, I think he was trying to get out. I don't know if, uh, if he did, but he... They sent him to real jail. They they didn't send him like because he was young. He was a freshman, but they were like just the way he did it. They were like, uh -uh, I don't he, like this. No hope for this guy. Well, whatsoever. Frank, I predict a swing and a miss. <laughs> CSI Miami, we're fixated with oh, the David. awful acting of David Caruso. Yeah, fixated on it. I saw one last night, right before I was going to sleep. I roll over to lay down. Uh, I, I roll over to go to sleep, and my girlfriend goes, "No, wait!" I'm like, "Why?" She goes, "CSI Miami, the beginning." So we hit it. I'm like, "Oh, cool!" And there's this big gunfight at this pool party thing that's going on, and and someone's shot, and then they find another body in the pool, and. Uh, uh, David Caruso walks over, and Frank is with him, of course, his partner guy, whatever it is. And uh, he goes, uh, well, it looks like they got away with some trinkets. And David Caruso goes, but they won't get away with murder. <laughs> and then the beginning music starts. Is that the music? The scream from, yeah, the, the hook. And then, and then just the music and the credits. And, and of course, so awful. right when he delivers the worst line ever written, every time, in the worst way, he either puts on or takes off his sunglasses and walks out of the frame. Exit stage left, even. <laughs> He's like, da -da 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 -da. like an old vaudevillian. You know, ah, and, uh, you know, a bum came up to me the other day and said he hadn't had a bite in weeks. What'd you do? I bit him. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Exit stage left. <laughs> yeah, they love me. They're screaming. <laughs> we, you know, now we got to play for Bill. We can't get enough of this. I hope gotta this play at least one. I hope this isn't getting old for people out there. We just can't get enough of this. The, the video. Yeah, da, 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 take my wife, please. <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. Exit. Stay right, Eva. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> Exit. You gotta see him gotta walk off. It, it is it's, so bad. It's, it's on YouTube. It's called David Caruso One Liners. There's a whole montage <laughs> of this don't, on YouTube. That people are viewing like crazy. But we got we got just a little taste here of the audio portion. Prince said you came down to drink mojitos and catch some sun. Well, it looks like something caught her. That's not a joke. Yes, that's our. That's been all of our reaction. It's not a joke. That's David Caruso acting. And and now you might think, has he always sucked this badly? It's I the hottest remember. show on TV, too. It's the hottest show on television. I don't remember on NYPD Blue him being a, such a crappy actor. But now, every line is delivered, and then the glasses go on like that. I think he can't remember his lines. He probably has like the last half of each line. In the glasses? In his glasses. <laughs> wow, he's got some vision. <laughs> I got to hold a newspaper 10 feet away to read it. Oh, you just kind of glance. Oh, as, as he's bringing away. it up. Yeah. That's why you're Bill Burr. <laughs> Let's get back to the montage. He's reading his lines. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, is that bad? He delivers lines like he's doing a Sanka commercial. That's that's a, <laughs> a cloth- Sanka commercial. <laughs> I know. Former athlete, no acting trainer. Yeah. Hi. It's <laughs> delicious. He died hours before this accident ever happened. So our accident is not an accident at all. That doesn't even uh, mean anything. It, it doesn't have to. Sometimes it, it at least has some kind of a silly rhyme to it, it or reason or like to. it's kind of a pun. That meant nothing. It sounds like they should go into like a song. Yeah, they Sometimes go. Sometimes an accident. It, it, isn't an accident. But um bum bum sometimes <laughs> an accident <laughs> isn't an accident. <laughs> bum 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 ba dum. All the other cops start dancing in unison. Oh in try to be safe. Try to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Guy with the drum. <laughs> oh. Well you, you spilled your orange juice? Looks like you're in a bit of a sticky situation. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's covered in orange juice. Damn leg. Hey, uh, <laughs> we got to go to Melanie in Cleveland. Hey, by the way, a lot of people have stories about people they uh, they knew growing growing up, and something horrific happened. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Don't you know, go anywhere. Th- this show is yeah always ongoing, so maybe call tomorrow with those stories because we got to move on a little bit. We're on the CSI David Caruso kick, but just because the bit ends for now, it doesn't mean it's over. So you know, call tomorrow when when you know the show is uh, is just dying a slow death. I want you Gary. can actually help us out with your dumb stories. I want Gary from Jersey to call. All right, you want to go to him first? Well, let's just hear him, his story. All right, but Melanie, real fast. Hi. Hey. I just wanted to thank you guys for my pleasurable watching of TV yesterday because there was a CSI Miami marathon on, and I sat and watched the whole stupid thing. And, and were you just, like, completely taken with uh, Caruso's horrific acting? Oh, my God, it was horrid. <laughs> I love the uh, the the glasses, the bad line, the walk off the the, the, the sh- out of the shot. Exactly. It's, it's like line. clockwork. Every single one. How is this? And I it's had no the idea. One show. No idea until someone turned us on to that. Well, we don't Anthony know. turned us on to this YouTube video. We don't know. I guess is that through the whole show that he's like that? Like is is every show? Yeah. Every show starts like that. And it's does he do crazy. it during the show as but, well? Yeah, that's his character. Ugh. It's horrible. Oh well, God. Frank. It looks like I'm a douchebag. <laughs> All right, Melody. Yeah, a lot of people are checking it out now. All right, you want to get Gary's story on before we move on. Gary Just, from Jersey. I, I love hearing Hatchet. Yeah. Gary? Uh, Gary. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to get short. Uh, I went to school with uh, this kid, and in school you sort of knew he was uh, a little bit off because he would walk through the halls and growl and bark at people. <laughs> that wow. guy. That's a sign. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it would be like the teachers would lock the doors and call the office and say, uh, you know, Dwayne's out again. But uh, <laughs> a couple years later, after I graduated, I read in the paper that uh, he took a hatchet to his father and, like, uh, planted it in his uh, chest. <sighs> Some call it a hatchet. I call it a sling blade. Sling blade. Some call it a Kaiser blade. <laughs> that would have been a better story if he actually killed him like a dog would kill someone. You know, like if he just yeah. if he just bit him and then went on a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> Growled, barked at the police. That he mauled his thing, dad you know, to death. We were ki- Sorry. When we were kids, uh, the stories would go around about this kid that he would uh, take... Uh, you know, uh, dogs and cats and bury them in his backyard and run them over with a pole. Yeah, that yeah, old gag. That's the first sign right there. Well, yeah, but I, I, we always thought that, you know, it was, oh, yeah, that's a story. But if I remember correctly, in the paper, they uh, alluded to uh, animal cruelty as a, as a child. Yeah, I, I knew a kid uh, when, when I was growing up in uh, East Islip, this was. East Islip. And uh, we were right by Heckshire State Park is sure. over there. And we used to go in there, and and get, there were frogs, and there were actually like amphibians, <laughs> like besides frogs, like uh, newts and lizards and stuff like that. It's like uh, the prehistoric days when I was a kid. <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking, like you don't see, you don't see like you used to be able to drive on Long Island, and there'd be a big snapping turtle in the road. <laughs> right? Like, you just don't yeah, see that no, crap no. anymore. Anthony was a kid that was like flamingos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's where yeah. Sunrise Highway is I now. I had my slingshot, and I was trying to kill a pelican. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, guys, when I was growing up, I used to see woolly mammoths. Yeah, there was a mammoth walking up. There was, uh, there was uh, like an assortment of wildlife and 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 ferns. Oh, the chemicals like took care of all ferns that. And things. I know. Took and, care of all that. And just crap. development and stuff like that. But uh, there were uh, just fro frogs everywhere. And there was a kid. Oh, there's a theory about the frogs, by the way. What happened? They're going back to their planet. Frogs are aliens too, like cats. Yeah, because Earth is doomed, and the pl uh, the uh, the frogs are leaving. They're the first to leave. Well, perhaps they Look could have up. helped out Look their little I'm pals back when I was a kid, because a friend I had, or not a friend, an acquaintance that lived on the street, would take these frogs, collect them up, bring them uh, to our our uh, street country village lane. You can look that up, <laughs> and throw the frogs as high up in the air as he could. <laughs> he would pop wanted. fly like a pop fly, but throw them and watch them just plummet into the street and hit the street. And you wonder why the frogs are leaving. They're they're highly intelligent yeah. and they don't want some dopey kid playing frog baseball with them. It was so cruel, but he was like a bully kind of kid, so you couldn't tell him, you know. That really was an underground that sport that everybody played, but and it was never on TV. Frog baseball, I think, it was just a natural. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead uh, brought yeah, everyone's yeah. attention. But it was always like that, the kind of twisted kid, though. I never played. That. I felt bad. I never hit a frog with a baseball. Used to feel bad yeah. when you inadvertently kill an animal or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I ever did that. No, I mean I teased the hell out of my dog. Till it became a psycho, but you know, <laughs> I, yeah, he was you alive. You could tease him till they're psychologically well, a mess. Well, that's normal, Bill. No, we, of course, we all, no, how would you tease him? Every time he ran over for the peanut butter, you zip your pants back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. We were just, uh, we didn't know. We were kind of all left alone, me and my brothers, and uh, I don't know. It was a really, there was, there was too many guys in the house, so everyone was just, you know, always beating the crap out of each other. So it just naturally filtered down to the dog. The, the dog, dog had to take the nah, crap you know, we, we for everybody. Started off playing this game called the glove game. You take like a, <laughs> oh, no. oh, boy. a oh, gardening no. glove. Sort of started mushing him in the face, and he'd start biting hard, and then it started to hurt. At which point, we moved on to like a hockey stick, just sort of jabbing him. Like if you're going, if you're going, oh if you're going for the puck in the corner, you know, you don't want you don't want the face yeah. off, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. So then what so ended up happening was at some point he learned how to do that bite where you shake your head like. Right? Yeah. Which we all thought was hilarious. The famous dog bite. Those are great. Yeah. We all thought it was hilarious until he started biting us. Like that. But, but we were young. We were all like, you know, fourth, fifth grade. He ended up biting me in the face. I had to get like stitches. He grabbed onto my oh, face. Jesus. Because he was eating and I was messing with him going, I'm going to get you food. And he just. <laughs> oh, did he show you? Yeah. Little West Town Ontario. Just two of his like, like canines, like right under my eye. I almost lost my eye. Right under my eye. Aren't they all canines in him? Yeah. And then they also <laughs> had. Uh, like part of it was like inside my mouth. Oh, he really got a hold on you. Oh yeah. And then shook. Oh yeah, it was one of those deals. Like I was going to the mirror, going, I know I'm deformed. I felt like, <laughs> but it turned out just to be like puncture wounds. I, I so like somehow Could've ripped your cheek up. right off. Yeah, like I was all bruised, but it was just really like they were like you know one stitch, two stitch cuts. Or like, if you nailed oh, your oh. eye, or like right now you'd be sitting oh, yeah. with a patch on your eye. Oh, like, like it was the 1800s. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> R. <laughs> You're twisted, Bill. I'm Bill Barr. Yeah, Barr. <laughs> yeah but they, uh, the funny thing is, we didn't get rid of the dog either. We just kept Why him. should you? And you guys are the ones. Wasn't the dog's fault? Oh, and he bit everybody I knew. <laughs> Every and every one of my friends, it was like, the dog was insane. Like, if you walked into the house and you weren't a member of the family, without question, without thinking, the second you came in, he just charged you, grabbed your leg. You know what? I hell cannot... Friggin' stand about people that own dogs like that is the fact that when you go over their house and they're like, oh, no, he's okay. Just don't show fear and put your hand out in a certain – like there's this protocol yeah, you have yeah. to go through so you don't get – uh, mauled and by the they, dog. And as soon as they say don't show fear, well, the first thing you're showing you're is fear. You're scared crapless. Yeah, because you're like, and, what is this dog going to do to me? And it's your friend's dog, so you don't have the ability to fight back. Like, if I get bit by the dog, I would punch it in the face, like, as hard as I could. But then they'd be like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey that's how he shows affection. What's wrong with you? You know? I, <laughs> so I, I'm warning everybody with a dog that... If I'm ever over your house and your dog bites me, I will punch it in the face and then probably punch you and right. your wife and then rape her and burn the house down. <laughs> Let's finish the David Caruso montage for Bill Burr and, and the other people out there that haven't heard it yet. You mean IRS? 
So that makes this a seizure kit, and Mr. Whitley a liar. Murder multiplied by 15 years. So we have a victim that started the weekend, big man on campus, and ended it dead on arrival. The victim of the blast. Or the cause of it. And the glasses are coming on and off. On the contrary, there's a chance this girl is alive, and we are going to find her. <laughs> what kind of acting is that? Bill might be onto something with that pause. He just forgot his line. Either just that, and, uh, just forgot his line. Line. Either that, or that's the fiftieth take, and he's trying to figure out how to make that line, that awful writing, good. Yeah. And right as he delivers it, he's just walking off to choke somebody. <laughs> <laughs> choke the writing staff. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I like that story that guy had about a hatchet. What exactly is the use of a hatchet other than a murder? I never heard. It, yeah, these days, in this day and age, uh, they, you got it's a short handle axe. Yeah, back in the Pilgrim days, it's like an I'm axe sure, version. I'm sure it was used for something. It's an axe version of a pistol, is what it is. Like where a, a, an axe is is a rifle, the hatchet would be the pistol. So you could carry it, conceal off, it, the sawed-off axe, and just hack into someone's chest. You buy a hatchet or back. just in case someday you got to murder somebody. You're yeah. right. I mean, if you work at the hatchet factory, you got to be thinking like 60% of the hatchets you're <laughs> are going to be used yeah. in a murder. <laughs> end up in the back of somebody's head. <laughs> what is this used for? Splitting wood for the wood-burning Franklin stove? Or just thrusting into someone's spine? Occasionally, of... you'll get some guy who's like a Revolutionary War reenactor. <laughs> yeah, he needs... I, he look, needs I need a, a hatchet to complete but he, the look. But he dulls down the blade, you know. Yeah, you don't want to hurt anybody. You don't hurt anybody when you're running around with other men in a <laughs> and field on a muskets. Sunday. Doing two damage, two damage. Muskets. Muskets and crap. Ugh. Reenactments. I think. A hatchet. Yeah, wasn't that like Lizzie Borden used a hatchet and killed her parents? <laughs> Made the hatchet like synonymous with murder? No, Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. That's right. I remember that little cute little rhyme that so, they used to so tell us as no kids. no hatchet is what Jimmy's adults. getting at, Anthony. There's an axe. It was an axe? axe. Yeah. Eh. I thought it was a hatchet. No, Lizzie Borden took a hatchet, gave her mother 40 what? Watchets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they changed it because it rhymed. That's a Caruso line right there. <laughs> uh, I think people are getting sick of the Caruso bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, there, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. And your doctor's handwriting could no. be a prescription for death. What their penmanship has to do with your health. Jeez. <laughs> All right. That's that's a news tease. That's a terrorizing news tease. But I, I guess you could figure it out. Yeah. Well, uh, have you ever taken yeah. the script to the the pharmacy and, they, yeah. and they'll actually go, well, I think, uh, you know, I think it is. I'm not really sure, but it's eh, either Vicodin like it or cyanide. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, pick one. Take them. If you feel better, just keep taking it. My doctor wrote aspirin. He thought he wrote arsenic. <laughs> yeah, well, I think this is arsenic. You're was, supposed to take it. You ever have a f almonds? And pharmacist. You ever have a pharmacist that's not really sure, so they start asking you for the symptoms you have so they can figure it out on the no. spot? Oh, yeah. I am not talking to a pharmacist. Pharmacist gives me what the, whatever prescription it is. I sign and leave. Not a word is exchanged. You know how to work the little thing. So you, you, I like when they reach over like they're helping you. Beep, beep, pushing the thing. It's like, a, no, it says next. It yeah. says sign here, and then it says they enter. I don't need you reaching over helping me. I don't like how they wear like the white lab coats like they actually went to medical school. Exactly. I could be doing brain surgery, but I decided to work at the back of a CVS. Yeah. <laughs> I, deci I, yeah. I decided to um, get the skilled job of taking pills from this bottle, <laughs> putting them in this bottle, and then giving them to you. And hoping I don't screw something up in between. You ever sit there and go, why is that taking an taking hour? Taking forever. You just nailed it. You just simplified their job. It's take the pills from the really big jar and put it in my tiny little pill bub. Uh, and they case. ain't moving. They ain't moving. Why There's does that take an hour? Of stuff. Why does taking, that take an hour? It, you, you're you're, you're counting. eight old ladies in front of you. You got the pills. That it's a it's hundred pills in one of these. Ten of them got to go in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cap on, label on, done, time. What? what <laughs> you're done. It's prescription rodeo. Uh, but it takes forever. And, yeah, I, I will say it's not always their fault. There's always an old person that goes, prescription for Johnson. 
I got hammer toast. And they never have it. <laughs> or they're, And it's like, I'm sorry, Mrs. Johnson, your insurance wasn't covering this brand, so they gave a generic brand. for Gener- What is that? I've got to call my doctor. Give me the phone. And they're on the phone, and you're waiting, and you just want to kill this woman with a walker. And you just want your herpy medicine. With her what? four-pronged <laughs> cane. Dude, that's the thing. You got to get those guys when you're saying time. You got to get those black dudes who play chess down in Washington Square Park. Oh, yeah. To start, you know, they play at 90 miles an hour. Yeah, the they're clock. The ones, yeah, they're the ones who should do the uh, prescription. Yeah, time. Just put the put the pills in the bottle, slap the label on, and hand it to me. And your doctor's handwriting could be a prescription for death. What their penmanship has to do with your health. How about oh, this? Boy. If he signs it, Kevorkian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. do we need to know how that ends? Yeah. We Got all to. know doctors have bad penmanship. Fan's going to beat you with a hockey stick. Why? What happened? Much like Bill beat his Why? Dog. What happened? I didn't. I, it was, you know, I was going like, yeah, it was like, two, it, was like it, was, it was a two minute. It was minor. like a little taunt. The two minute minor. Was that a yeah. two minute minor? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a misconduct. Bill, are we promoting anything today? <laughs> yeah, I'm at the uh, DC Improv. In D.C., obviously, and uh, this, this week and next week I'm at the uh, Punchline in Atlanta. Well, say hi to D.C. We're on WJFK. Yes, Hello, we are. Hello, District of Columbia. All right, very good. Fine district it is. Yes, it is. And hopefully by the end of this show we'll get into this. Nothing you have ever seen before and nothing you have ever heard before will prepare you for the shock of... My baby is black. <laughs> now, the motion picture screen reaches its full maturity in this dramatic, bold story never before told on the screen. <laughs> Hopefully I've after the break. i got to hear the rest of Hopefully that. Hopefully after the break. It's the Please. Opie and Anthony Show. Very busy morning on the Opie and Anthony Show. Yesterday, when we uh, were doing our show that no one heard because everyone had the day off, Except for the XMers. The XMers heard the show yesterday. Anthony, what happened? Not. What happened, Ed? Hey, my God. Oh, there my God. It there you go. Oh, my God. All right. I see where this is going. Monsters! Monsters! Uh, maybe Bill doesn't know about this. Jimmy does, of course. We do, of course. Uh, a radio show killed a, a listener. It was hilarious. <laughs> Monsters! <laughs> Monsters! Hey, this yeah. is pretty cool. Radio show. Uh, basically, they did this contest, Hold Your Wii for a Wii. <laughs> hold your Wii for a Wii. You know, the Wii, W-I-I, the gaming system. Oh. So Hold Your Wii for a Wii. Uh, they made their contestants uh, drink a bunch of water without allowing them a break. Uh, and then... Uh, Whoever could hold it the longest would win the Wii gaming system. And um, the woman that came in second went home. Uh, she was supposed to go to work, I guess, and called in sick and said she was uh, uh, had a bad headache, a migraine, and she was crying and decided to go to bed. Uh, and that's where they found her. Dead in the bed. Water. <laughs> <laughs> you are horrible. <laughs> Water, into- Water intoxication. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very rare, by the way. I saw a kid, uh, a frat, frat kid. Die it's always frat kids, yeah. They make them drink a lot of water because they're stupid and don't realize. Yeah, if they just let them do alcohol. It's just water. Yeah, let them have booze. <laughs> you puke, you pass out. Yeah. <laughs> How do the Waterhead kids from high school survive then? Uh, it was in their head. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay are, if it's in your it's head. It's not actually it water heads. They don't have water in their heads. They're called water heads. I've heard you. The medical call them term water. is water heads. Yeah, whenever they'd agree with you, you could hear it sloshing around. I've heard water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're moving a fish tank up the steps. What's the matter? My son's laughing. <laughs> I've heard of water on the brain. Yeah. But uh, you don't walk around with that. Well, we were talking about this show yesterday, the morning rave out there in Sacramento. And they are so fired. We said that yesterday, that they're not just yeah. fired. They're so fired. Completely fired. Completely fired. No doubt in our minds. I was wrong, by the way. I didn't think. I'm like, no, they won't. And you were completely right. They what were, year are you dumb, living in? Really a you can't yeah. kill a listener. Yeah. <laughs> you just it's can't. really out of all the rules in the book. Uh, language, fines. 
um, personal things even, some type of, you know, uh, life, your own lifestyle issues. Just play it out. You kill a listener, they, they let you slide, they don't fire you, and you're back on the show Monday going, so let's do Battle of the Sexes, yeah. and Tuesday, we Tuesday we'll do our Looney Tunes Tuesday bit. How do you go back in, especially this show, where it's uh, it's described as topics of uh, discussion on the show, uh, have ranged from ghost sightings to celebrity gossip. The show has a Confession Wednesday call-in segment Boring. and airs song parodies. <laughs> <laughs> airs song parodies. Oh, and kills uh, listeners. <laughs> oh, and every once in a while we'll kill one of you. I just realized. Who will we kill next? I just realized. Ooh. It's your morning zoo. <laughs> 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 I just realized how safe this show is. Because all of your bits, the bit is watching whatever they were ingested somehow coming back out. Puking is a big part of saving the lives of our listeners. Yeah. That's right. right. You think it's just entertainment and we laugh hysterical whenever people are doing it. We're saving lives, people. That's Quarters. right. Mm hmm. Well, uh,. Did we talk about all this stuff here? Well, all the, this highlighted crap? Uh, the morning rave, blah, 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 taken off the air indefinitely, uh, according to executives at the end, for a, uh, as, as they go through this internal investigation. Ah, ah we've now been we, through two of those before. Yes, <laughs> we've been through two internal investigations. Um they both end in the firing of you. <laughs> what the internal investigation is for? They're trying to find they out try who to figure to out fire. who else is involved God, we're so experts. they can fire Why them too. Like it has nothing they will tell you during this that this is to you know try to get the information out so we can get you back on the air. But that's not what it is. You're already fired. They know it. You should know it. But you don't. You're gone. You're, you're, you're holding dead out hope. man walking. You're holding out hope that maybe you'll skate. But what they want are names. They want to know if the PD knew about it. They want to know marketing, who in sales knew about this. All that so they could just pff, wipe everybody out. Wow. Um, the show's DJs uh, will not be heard until the investigation's complete. Uh, Jennifer Strange, 28, drank nearly two gallons of water over three hours. Uh, that, according to a contestant who drank one fewer bottle of water. Okay. <laughs> that one bottle put her over the edge, I guess. What exactly, when you, when you die of water intoxication, what is going on there? You like Well, your brain cells happens in your brain. Uh, they're, they're surrounded by a membrane with various chemicals in there. Why are you saying this to me like I'm five? Uh, because it's like Mr. Wizard. Oh, okay. He always talks like this. Surrounded by a membrane. Membrane. And, and <laughs> I'm supposed to jump in with him and be like, membrane? And the I, liquid. I colored one of those. How do you spell says, membrane? Very, very sensitive uh, uh, mixture to, that keeps us going. With the liquid. There's got to be the right amount of sodium and potassium and electrolytes and all this little uh, uh, crap that's around these cells keeps the cell alive and keeps it the right size. Then you drink too much water, all that other stuff gets diluted. The cell starts absorbing the water and gets uh, swollen. And when you swell up one cell, that's no big deal. Swell up a whole brain full. Oh, your, your brain's in there just... Packed inside your skull, it can't go anywhere but out your ears. <laughs> at, that point, at that point, oh. people are getting fired. Uh, yeah, so frats, right then. Frats are closing. It's over, Johnny. Can they do anything? Like, if you know, all right, I got this is the water sickness thing. Can they go in there with mm. a needle and at least drain your head or do something? I have no idea. Oh, uh, yeah, they can relieve the pressure in, in your... I would think... Uh, Maybe I, not with the I water. Don't know. I don't know on a cellular well, level. Well, when you're bleeding... If they could do that. Internally, and and the blood starts filling up in your skull. You could yeah, but I don't know that you can relieve that, but I don't know with water. It's not like water just, is surrounding your think, head. Wait a minute, I got a mic in front of me, Bill. Gotta, I'm an we expert. Back, we have to go back to Opie there for a second, just <laughs> completely making up. He started looking around the room halfway through the Senate. He goes, "Oh yeah, they can uh, they can drain your brain." Cause, uh, <laughs> and I started laughing. Then he immediately goes, "Yeah, because people have had pressure in their brain turns it into like some sort of like blood clot thing." No, like it's water about, just sloshing in your head. He's just talking about. Dude, brain I cells. realized when I started that sentence that I was like, "I have no effort." It's a idea. cellular <laughs> level. But people expect me to be an expert because they got a microphone in front they of do, me. They do have water on Say the brain. Say something stupid. There is something called water on the brain, and they take a tube 
and drill a hole in your head yeah. and put the tube from your head down your neck into your heart and the water drips out of your head and is recirculated through your body. Yeah, what is that called what, again? It's called the Frankenstein procedure. <laughs> Who the hell thinks this crap up? It's uh, the dwarf's got to get that. It's water on the brain. I know that much. It, yeah. It's called a shunt. But I think. Ah, oh, there, there you, you go. go. Ah. There you go. Good one. Are you really kidding? Are you kidding? Really? It's a no, shunt. shunt. I think. It, I watch a little people, big world. I know all oh, about this stuff. I thought that was a short woman who was misbehaving. <laughs> 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 oh. Anyway, I, I think to take care of the, the water uh, intoxication thing, I don't know. I'm speculating. But I think if they replace some of those things that are being diluted out, sodium and electrolytes and potassium, uh, that that might pull you through. Yeah. I don't know, though. I'm just assuming that they would have can the they, capability to do that. Like Suck the brain cells out and sort of wring them out. Wring like them out, out <laughs> one at a time. Them back in. Put I mean, them I back. Think that's what Opie was trying to ask. <laughs> well, we got a nurse. We got Nurse Heather. Nurse, is, she, uh, is this Nurse Heather from Pal Talk? Yes. Nurse Heather. All right, Nurse Heather, what's up? Hi. Hey. They use a hypertonic IV solution. Oh, and what does that do? It sucks the water back out of the cells and helps them dehydrate a little bit. Ah. How do you do it? I don't know. All right, wait a nurse. Thanks. She's a nurse. All right. That's all I got. What do you have a friend who does it? <laughs> She's a nurse. She watches the doctors do it. Exactly. I don't really do anything. She doesn't no. do anything. No. She, she just changes bedpans. She hands him the stuff. <laughs> Scalpel. She doesn't even sound like a real nurse. Though. She sounds like a porno nurse. She's like, know, right. Nurse Heather. <laughs> yeah. In a little candy striper outfit. Tee hee. Tee hee. All I she know about is for dummies, just so she knows a little bit to keep you in the game. All she knows about is enemas. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Nurse Heather. What do you do? I cut myself. Can I get a stitch or something? No enema. So can we get the statement from the station from uh, Sacramento? There. Can you get that back up there, E Rock? Please. So uh, this is John Geary, Vice President and General Manager of 107.9 The End. All of you are probably aware of the tragic death of a contestant, Jennifer Strange, following her participation in a contest on the Morning Rave last Friday. First and foremost... I've heard here, uh, 6 a.m. to 10... He didn't throw a plug in there? <laughs> First this and death foremost... sponsored by... Is this on a loop on the station when you tune the station in? First and foremost, our thoughts and sympathies go out to Jennifer's family and loved ones. I also want to assure you that the circumstances regarding this matter are being examined, examined as thoroughly as possible. We are doing everything we can to deal with this difficult situation in a manner that is both respectful and responsible. In the interim, the morning rave is off the air indefinitely. Thank you. John Geary, Vice President and General Manager. Fired, so fired. Fired by Friday. Wow. Kind of hose down the studio and get the next uh, slappy and wappy show in and make believe this other show never existed. That's how it works in radio. Wow. Goodbye. Were they highly rated? I mean, were they like a really popular show? I don't know. Really? I really don't know. It's a good question. People were on the floor with their teeth chattering and pale and, and, and in a sickened state. <laughs> DJ Trish told a caller, a caller said... Uh, that one of the contestants sounded like she was going to die. I felt like I was going to die, Myers said. They were not concerned about our health uh, being at risk. You know what that is right there, that line? That means I'm going to pile on the loss. Oh, the loss. Yeah, because now everybody that was in the contest that didn't die is also going to sue. I've suffered from blurred vision. I can't drink water anymore. Cold in the extremities. I can't hug my children. <laughs> That's right there. That's worth at least thirty grand. It, yeah, thirty grand a kid. She was sick. She looked pale. Her eyes were super watery, of course, and everyone was really nauseous. Why wouldn't uh, you just throw up the water? Yeah, just stop. But I mean, why wouldn't your body just start throwing yeah, up the water? I think it gets absorbed so quickly. It it's sounds like too late. CSI Miami. Looks mm. like they got in a little over their heads. <laughs> Ah, Bill's aboard with the David Caruso bit of fish. Well, Frank, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. <laughs> what? See, perfect. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, of course. Bill in Atlanta, what's up? I'm just tired of Anthony being a show-off, know-it-all. Like I know. 
Dude, we get it. You stay home and watch the Learning Channel nine hours a day. <laughs> I love I, you, Phil. I gotta agree with you, Phil. I'm you sick know, of me. Toby, did you notice how it's not even taking a breath when Bill asked about the water poisoning thing? Anthony went, "Well, the cells in the head." And did you? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I understand. I get tired of me a lot of times too. That was a perfect phone call, by the way. He but you're out. He's gone. Dope. He's done. No, we we all see it, but I we're know. too scared to tell you. What can I Enough. do? Enough. I have to spread my knowledge. Stupid intelligence. Keep I it to yourself. I have to. Well, and you, I, 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 I say when I'm speculating. The second I asked the question, I did look right at you. Well, I was Looking never back, a doctor, but I... I should have asked I, Opie just to for, see that look on his face well, I, again. <laughs> I take pride in being not know-it-all. So I just got not to... Know it I'm not know-it-all. Well, Anthony is smart in comparison to us. It's like when you have two other <laughs> dummies you're working with. Right. <laughs> it's that my girlfriend did this thing yesterday, and I caught her. We were walking, and, and she just didn't know it, but she knew I was dumber than she was. She's like, what kind of food is in that place? Is that Malaysian? And I'm like, I don't know. She goes, yeah, it is. And I'm like, you bitch, you just asked me. If I would have said, no, it's not, you would have went, oh, okay, I thought it was. But because I'm dumber than her, she all of a sudden... She the called you out, yeah. made you look stupid. Yeah, yeah. And it, like, acknowledge that that's exactly what it was. And yeah. She didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> all right. Hey, this, this is just a dumb quickie, but I like the writing in this uh, story. I, 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 uh, I tried to work on my intelligence by reading a lot of newspapers every morning before the show. Ah. And I found this in the Philadelphia Inquirer today. There's a, there's a fine new casino down there in the Philly area. And uh, the headline is, Why You Won't Get Rich From Slots. Oh, the slots. Because the casino wants to make money? Uh, yeah. But the first paragraph is kind of funny, just in the writing. Jerry, last name I can't pronounce, that sounds Polish, pressed a button and watched the three wheels spin. Oh. The seductive lights of the slot machine reflected in her eyeglasses as she uh, sat in an orange padded chair. <laughs> I'm going to win. <laughs> the first wheel stopped spinning, displaying the image of a purple bar. Oh, purple bar. Then the second wheel stopped. Another purple bar. Jackpot. And the third wheel? Here it comes. Dot, 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 dot. A blank. <laughs> But, uh. but tantalizingly, just one space away, she saw the third bar she needed. Gee. And then she, uh, she, uh, she says, if that bar had come down here, I would have won something. She said last week in her first visit to the new slots parlor at Philadelphia Park Casino, close but no cigar. It's like it ran out of gas. No. <laughs> she has no clue that these dumb slot machines are programmed uh, to, to make a near miss so you play long. That's how it works. Yeah, they want it to look like you're getting so close to winning. Oh, if it just would have clicked one more time, I'd have won. Yeah, it says right here, maybe not. Sure, it looked as if the third wheel just ran out of gas when it got close to the uh, winning symbol, but in reality, it stopped there because an internal computer told it to. A result randomly determined when she pressed a button before the wheel started spinning. Yeah. They are doing that to make you play longer. Yep. I s That's where they make, I heard they make most of their money. The slot machines. Oh, yeah. When I, when I, I, remember Huge. That, I remember learning that when I never talked to anybody in that business. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bill. <laughs> slot machines. <laughs> I just realized that was just a rumor I heard from other comedians. But see, we we finally admitted on this show, we feel like we're experts because we got a microphone in front of us. Yep. And that, dude, I do that walking down the street. I'll just be talking to somebody and I, I'm constantly just throwing out crap. It was just never... Never read it, never proven. I'm so glad the... Uh, I go with my gut. The slot machines are tamed down now in the casinos. They've really tamed it down. They used to... You do a bang, 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 You're trying to play cards or something, and it's just nothing but slot machine noises. Turn the volume way down. You ever see a show on, uh, I think it was the Learning Channel? Oh, mm -hmm. boy, here he goes. <laughs> No, it was, it was a pretty cool uh, this thing. This is called it. Make Believe You're as Smart as Anthony. No, no, it has nothing to do with Watch, it. Watch, I'll nod at everything. It like, has yeah, nothing was, to I, do I with, with, with that. It was an entertainment, <laughs> entertaining show. It was uh, 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 guys that beat uh, slot machines. Yeah. The guy worked for a slot machine company, figured out how to put a chip in to certain machines that he would maintain. He'd go around and change the chip. And you'd have to go through this complicated code of how many coins you put in and how many times you pulled the lever before there was a jackpot and which buttons you pushed. So if you know you were just somebody, you could play the machine and it's going to pay off like normal. But he knew to go in there or his, his accomplices put in like two coins, pull it once, put in one coin, pull it, put in three, pull it. And then when you put in like four, if you did it in that order, it would pay out. All right, here jackpot. we go. 
absolutely brilliant, right? This yeah. This is the question I got for you. How do you ever get caught? He got caught. How do you get caught if you're that brilliant to come up with something like that? I, I, I believe it always turns into greed. Greed always gets Where these the, guys. The two yeah. guys are arguing like, look, dude. It, the, they noticed these machines were paying out too much, and instead of moving on to another oh, machine okay. or something, gotcha. they looked at the cameras and noticed it was kind of the same guys going over to the same machines that were paying out. And there was another guy, brilliant, Maybe that actually... They, they walked away with, like, you know, ten pails of quarters. Huge, yeah, big buckets full. There was a guy that uh, counterfeited uh, the coins that went into slot machines, these giant uh, tokens uh, from casinos. Counterfeited them, bought, like, sold everything to buy these etching machines for this the, the right metal. He he went to a metallurgy and, and had a, one of the coins analyzed and got the right composition. All the, Went through all this. Had thousands of these things made up. Would go with trunk loads to Atlantic City into the casinos and would sit and play a little bit. And then he'd just take these buckets and go and have them exchanged for cash. And they would Brilliant. weigh them, and Brilliant. then he'd get the cash. Brilliant. And again, greed wound up getting this guy. Yeah. Was that the one that was doing business in the parking lot or something like that? He How would, did he get caught? He would pull up and have like boxes full of these coins and take the big buckets they give you, fill them up, go back inside, play for a little... And then they kind of noticed again. Uh, somebody noticed a, a, a problem with the coins. There were too many coins when they would ca count the coins after a while. And he kept going to the same casinos over and over. If he spread it around a little, it wouldn't matter. But they're noticing, holy Jesus, there's $100,000 more coins than we started with. So that's stupidity. Yeah. I saw a guy one time on one of those cop shows. I forget it was either it was years ago, so it was either pay phones or parking meters. He figured out how to pick this lock, which was, you know, allegedly unpickable, and it was greed. If he just used it to supplement his income, yeah, you know, move up from like the, you know the Camaro Berlinetta up, up, <laughs> yeah. up to the IROC Z. You know? <laughs> that's the problem everyone makes. But that's what he did. Now yeah. he goes out, he gets like some flashy cars, yeah, yeah. And, he, and he was going all around, you know, rather oh. than just doing like. What I don't know. Some I mean, how many parking meters are there? Whatever. You yeah. Hit, you hit thirty of them out mm -hmm. of the whole city. We got a little bit of a problem. This guy hit like a thousand, and 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 then he started going from different city to different city. And I don't know. He was paying his hotel bills and quarters, and they ended up catching him. Or just something stupid wow. like that. Yeah. Guys, uh, fans, tell me he just got caught using sleeve cams at card tables. What the hell is a sleeve? Ca Put little cameras, I guess, spy cameras up the sleeve. Yeah, and they had, um, it was somehow being fed to some guy in a van in the parking lot, and he'd slow down the tape and see what everybody was getting dealt. So. Wow. <laughs> wow. Tapes are brilliant. Yeah. yeah. But they, uh, they got undone by greed. They won like 10 out of 44 hands or something, like, which is way better than you should be doing. <laughs> Just <laughs> bring the ratio that, that, down. At that moment, all of a sudden, there's somebody with a shaved head standing right behind you. Yeah. And you're like, okay, guys, abort, abort. <laughs> Sir, do you mind coming with me? You get that casino treatment. <laughs> what? What took them off is he's wearing a wizard robe with a giant <laughs> hanging <laughs> with a camera strapped to his arm. 1980s camcorder. <laughs> with a big video cassette. He's pointing at the uh, dealer the entire time oh, yeah. he's dealing. Come on, give me a winner. I love this guy. His I'm loving this guy. Just won't stop pointing at him. His sleeve. Bing, bing. Battery low. Battery low. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even when you're like when you're at a blackjack table and you're doing absolutely nothing wrong and you see those pit bosses coming around just to take a look, don't, you, peeking don't around. you start feeling completely paranoid? I though? didn't do anything. Even though you know you you're not doing anything. I do that when uh when I've made a few just lucky bets where I bet big and hit and then I bet real small and I lose and, and you do so that a happens. few times in a row and it's just pure luck and you're sitting there like oh he's gonna think I'm counting cards. <laughs> <laughs> I've right. seen those guys. I was at a crap table one time, and this guy just he just kept hitting or whatever. And all of a sudden, right in the middle, two guys shaved heads come over, and they just take the dice and they put new dice in. And everybody's going, "Oh, come on, come on!" And the very next time, the guy throws a dice and they lose. <laughs> and it's like, how do I know your dice aren't rigged? Yeah, right. Let's keep it moving, buddy. <laughs> hey, someone is saying the show is called Masterminds. It's an actual yeah. show. Yeah. Oh, I gotta start checking that out. Yeah, it's and it's on one. where again? Learning uh, channel? I don't know. One of those channels, Discovery, Learning, blah, blah, blah. Masterminds, so they show a bunch of people who got caught. 
Yeah, I know. Well, almost mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> Just short of mastermind. And I, I think uh, Tim on line eight, I, I saw that one too, but I don't remember exactly how he did it. Uh, one at Kino. Yeah, Tim, go ahead. How did that one work? Uh, Tim? Um, I saw that show of mastermind. Well, that guy that rigged the machine, he ended up uh, figuring out how to rig the Polinko. I think it's called Polinko. Game is like bingo, but it's like it, a, a billion numbers. Yeah, it's like uh, it's Kino. And uh, well, he rigged. He figured out how the uh, the code worked in that machine, and figured out the uh, random number generation. He figured this out that that you could the random number generator that ran this Kino game. Yeah. You know, you pick a certain amount of numbers. They they it pops up. He figured out what the next set of numbers was going to be based on this program. So he's upstairs in the hotel room watching it, and there's he's got an accomplice downstairs filling out the Kino forms and sending them in. And bigger than crap, there it is. He's watching it on the hotel uh, television. All of his numbers come up, and and they won. But uh, they were they were caught because the guy's ID was screwed up. Something was wrong with his accomplice's ID. Like, it was that Some stupid. Some dumb thing. Some dumb thing. Could you please come with me <laughs> up to the room where your guy is sitting with computer equipment? And <laughs> he's up in the hotel room with, like, computer equipment and ribbon wires going to the TV and... <laughs> yeah, but you're getting off so much easier now that the mob isn't involved, you know? I know. Back in yeah. the day, you'd go down the basement, Joe Pesci, would take out that hammer. Oh. oh, yeah. You made me pop out your eye for this. <laughs> <laughs> we got to step aside for a bit. Ah, damn. We got the Paul Abdul audio, too. We tease a lot of things. We got to do something. We got to yeah, do something after the break. One thing we tease, we got to do. got to do one of these things. All right. It's the Opie and Anthony show. We're back. Opie is choking. <laughs> wow. You put too much wow. food in your mouth at one time. Because we start babbling during the commercial break, and then I realize, oh, my God, I haven't eaten yet. So then you start shoving food down your throat. Yeah, it's it's our, it's our By the way, my egg yeah. white sandwich today, a lot of uh, eggshells. Oh, get well, out of here. A lot of crunchy in my egg sandwich today. <laughs> Couldn't even eat it if that was the case. Why? It's probably a light bulb. An eggshell? Yeah, it, it might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eggshells. Well, this savage is making breakfast. It gets eggshells in there. We, we haven't talked about the Missouri uh, missing boys yet. We haven't played the Paul Abdul thing yet. I want to hear that. The she's, Paul Abdul? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's uh, maybe back on uh, whatever. The pills? I've heard I've heard rumor. Someone is yelling pills, at us on the phone. Booze. They yeah. went away, but they're like, she has a condition. That's why. What's the condition? I don't know. They went away. Because uh, she was really a wreck at the end of one season of American Idol. Then the beginning of the next one, it seems like they told her to slap her crap together and uh, uh, sober up. And then she was fine. And then slowly you watched her kind of degenerate back into, you are an inspiration to the people. Your voice is just amazing. She's actually talking to the hallucination. <laughs> yeah, there's no one there yet. <laughs> Anne had a great... We haven't started the auditions yet, drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> Anne had a great point earlier. Because, you know, the, uh, Paul's people are claiming that she had jet lag. She's tired because she's doing a million interviews because Idol starts up again uh, tonight. And that goes with all of them. Yeah, uh, uh, Lindsay Lohan, it's the same thing. Oh, she's exhaustion from the heat of it, on the set. And There should be a chart, like the excuse what drug it is. Yeah. Jet lag. Okay, that's amphetamine. <laughs> jet lag. <laughs> all right, exhaustion from work. Uh, that's Vicodin. <laughs> But it's been, it's, been it's, a little hyper lately. Uh, you, cocaine. This is just plain drunk. The 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 light, the heat from the lights on the set. <laughs> she was drunk. She was dehydrated. I've never in bag. all all the years I've known my friends and stuff. I, I've I've been around. I've seen drunk people. I've seen people on drugs, and not once have I gone. Are you are you exhausted? Uh, you do. You have jet lag, yeah. don't you? I I bet you have jet lag. No, you're, <laughs> you're drunk. Dr you're driving drunk and you drive your car into a tree and the cop comes up. <laughs> You've been drinking tonight? Nah, it's got a little jet lag. Oh, jet lag. Yeah. And I've been on the set for hours. Uh, exhaustion set in. <laughs> Doing Shakespeare in the park, man. Yeah. I was filming the Gilmore Girls earlier. Oh. <laughs> Too many hours. Exhausted. All right, here we go. Here's Paul Abdul. Yeah, let's hear. You decide if it's uh, jet lag or 
or some form of pills or mm. alcohol. Good morning, Paula Abdul, live in New York City. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> she can hear us. So far? No problem. A nice peppy good morning. I wanted to stop the tape. Let's play when do you think uh, people start noticing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Tell us, what are you looking forward to this season? <laughs> How about a lot of you coming in? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wild party where you are. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but th that could have been, that could have been, uh, well, she's trying to be funny. But and not be because she quickly got back on track. But she was trying to be funny, and she was incoherent. <laughs> well, she, I, I couldn't understand. what. Uh, a lot of you coming. What What was her answer? Mm, Come on. By the way, it's ridiculous. You can't be wasted and have that many pronouns in a sentence. What What did she say? <laughs> i got to hear it again, because it, it didn't make sense, I don't think. Something I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of you being here. A lot of you coming in. Coming in. or Because you guys have been so crazy. Like, this show's like a party. You know, she was hearing it. <laughs> How about a lot of you coming in? It's a, it's a wild party where you are. That, yeah, that's what we hear. We hear that uh, Simon has actually said that this had some of the worst singers that he's ever heard. What did you think of the singers in Seattle? Well, I have to agree with Simon. Oh, no. Paula. Oh. Hey, you know what? It is what it is. And it was brilliant. <laughs> it is what it is. Wow. She's um, getting like whatever high she has is that philosophical one. She's about ready to tell everybody there that she loves them. Yeah. You guys are the best. I'm going to be an optimist. I'm going to say a little jet lag. A little too many interviews. Uh, jet lag. Faking the energy because uh, she's I've, done about 100 of these. Sounds like I... They sat her in a studio and then they threw her on all these morning shows across America. You think? I'm holding out a little hope. I'm going with uh, tennis elbow. On this <laughs> tennis elbow. <laughs> Always causes slurred speech. Yeah. Maybe it's a combination. Maybe she had jet lag and then dropped her face into a bag of coke like Scarface. <laughs> 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 so technically, it was jet lag. Right. Here's the condition. It's Steve from Pennsylvania. Steve. Yeah, how you doing, guys? What's up? Hey, not much. Yeah, Paula, she's got the RSD, according to last season, when she was nodding out. Yeah, what's RSD? Uh, it's reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Now they call it complex regional pain syndrome. Um, I got it after a car accident, and I had to have surgeries on my uh, wrist and ankle. What is it? Um, what happens is your, uh, your nervous system constantly, uh, the nerve endings constantly overfire uh, the, uh, the pain signal. It never stops. So I've been on oxy, uh, cotton 40 milligrams a couple times a day. Plus, Sounds body. like a made-up disease to get good drugs. No kidding. That it, sounds it, like you hurt your wrist and your ankle, like, for life in yeah. a car accident. Yeah. 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 Why are you blaming yeah. your nerves? And I don't believe you because... You're blaming your nerves. You should be blaming yeah. your driving. I don't believe this guy. He's been on the air for exactly a minute, and not one time did he go, ah! Yeah. Ow. You know the feeling you get when the freaking nerve <laughs> fires? Yeah. Not one time. Or at least with yeah. your, your attitude, you'd be angry all the time. Yeah, yeah. something. I, I'm definitely angry all the time. I carry a weapon, too. Anthony would love that. Oh, boy. Anthony, oh, nice. Anthony, Steve, I didn't mean no harm. Didn't mean any harm yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. There you go, guys. I'll be stalking you. But, right. Anthony, you could appreciate this. They tracked Ooh. it back to the Civil War days when the guys were getting shot in the uh, the legs. Uh, and they were having, you know, dig around there to get that 40 cal, uh, you know, ball out of the uh, the legs and whatnot. Yeah. The guys were filling their boots up with water because what RSD does, you feel in the extremity hot and cold sensation both at the same time. That sounds like heart. restless leg syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Another made up disease. All right. Thank you, sir. For the hell did restless leg. You ever see the commercial for that? Do you have the feeling that your legs just have to move at night, especially when you try to sleep? It, you might have restless leg syndrome. <laughs> what Do the you hell accidentally is... boot your wife in the ass <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, during a nap? Do you just collapse while you're walking? <laughs> <laughs> My legs are suffering from jet lag. It's like that's something you'd ignore. You know what? That does happen. Restless leg syndrome, and then they show some people kind of like, you know, get all mad because their legs won't stay still. Just hold your legs still. Where was this disease back in like 1975? Isn't it shaky leg syndrome or something like that? Are they talking about that? His doctor, Than, 
It's called being antsy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a case of the antsy. Thank you for your diagnosis, Dr. Than. All right, let's get back to the audio. Paul Abdul, let's see if she sounds a little worse here. So far, I'm holding out hope. I'm thinking jet lag, too many interviews. Mm -hmm. This show has turned into a flat-out star maker, seven or eight of last season's alums, pulling record deals. How do you think Idol has changed the face of pop music? Well, let's put you this way. When the show started, the record industry said, this show is going to ruin the music industry. And the record industry was already kind of upside down. But now, we, have, we are legitimate and we're, we're, we're churning out mega, mega stars. And it's, it's a show that actually you see great things happen to these kids. And, and I love it. And I think that it's going to be around for a while. She should have bailed like nine times in that song. Oh, <laughs> man, right? Out and she just kept I wanted her to stop. Like, just stop. No, no, no more. They said wow. we, we were going to ruin the record industry. The record industry? She has a problem with her S's. It's she swears her S's. And we're going to be around. Let, let me go out on a limb here. American Idol's popular. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps, I see high ratings. She keeps winding down. And, and that's why it's a great show. Because when we do the show, you're like, oh, you were done. Oh, oh, there was a, uh, a chance for a period. period. <laughs> Not a comma. Because we're making stars and we're pumping out stars. Like last season, we had this good. <laughs> oh, no, not last season. <laughs> Yeah, and speaking of great things happening to people, um, an old buddy of yours, William Hung, he's coming on our show tomorrow morning. Oh. And You're he's, kidding. Yeah, he is. He'll be here tomorrow, and he seems like a really nice guy. When, when he auditioned for you, did you have any idea that he was going to become such a cult star? You know what? I thought that this kid is going to, if anything, prove that he has so much, a tremendous, a tremendous amount of heart, and he's got drive, and he's a smart kid, and boy, did we see how smart he actually really is. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my terrific. God. Yeah, well. Yeah, there's something going on. That's RSD, or is that... Uh... Well, someone is really mad. Uh, RSD is not a joke. Oh. It's, it's Momo, faithful listener of the show. What's up, Momo? RLS. You're getting the wrong restless leg. Yes, Momo? Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, restless leg is not a joke. I've got it. And I, I know... Uh, is it shaking right now? <laughs> it's actually worse when you're tired. Like, I know when I'm getting tired, if, uh, if my leg starts, I can't control them. Where was this disease even back in, it, like, five years ago? I had it. I've been ha I've had it for a long, long time. I just never knew what it was, and then I finally started taking uh, an anti-seizure medicine for another condition, and it stopped. Almost. Yeah, we've we've invented way too many diseases. So many. Yeah. Well, it's true. It's, it's it's a legitimate it's a legitimate disease. Ah, shut up. Toughen up. Throw some warm milk on your legs and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Later. A, All right. Point Get a strap something. and tie it down we'll and get a good night's sleep. What? Am I might like an idiot. Doesn't a disease have to be, like, fatal? Yeah, I would think. You know well. what I mean? Your leg shakes. You got you know shaky I mean? legs. Well, God was putting you together. Uh, yeah. Somebody distracted you. You forgot a washer. You crossed a little. Of, <laughs> forgot a washer. <laughs> a couple of nuts. <laughs> Something's yeah. a little loose in your transmission. The insulation I mean. rubbed off on a wire. Could yeah, be, it could stuff. be worse. He's like uh, he's like a Pinto. He's like from that line. Yeah, from that line. Ah, just discontinue that model. People want to play uh, Guess What Pill Paul Abdul is on. Uh, Matt in North Carolina, what's up? Yeah, uh, she used to sound like me when I used to take Adderall on set for like two or three days. Yeah. It just takes a toll on your mind, and you just like, you can't form sentences. It's just hard to talk. Hmm. I like you're just... I, I'd, I'd just be, like, strung out on, like, Adderall, you know, just, like, overdosing, taking, like, twice, three times as much as my dose. His call has done the same thing to us. Yeah, wow. <laughs> we, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to say. I can't make a sentence. All right, listen, uh, uh, Big Duties J from Jersey says it all on the Instagram. From Jersey? Back. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't want to confuse him with oh, yeah, the other one. There's a Big Duties J in Kansas, of course. Uh, this bit is okay. Uh, it's <laughs> updated. Hold on. This bit is okay. But your baby is black would have been much better. Well, we had to make a decision there. We had to make a split-second decision. An idol starts tonight. Your baby's black doesn't start tonight, sir. You know something? I've heard <laughs> a lot of people on message boards and other things say, 
I, you know, I liked the way the show was when you guys were on NEW. Yeah. You just got a taste of it. <laughs> Opie teased something the entire show, and you never heard it. Remember that? And, and you're not going to be able to help yourself. You're going to have to tune in tomorrow. That's my brilliance. There you go. That's my brilliance. There's a blast from the past. I dare you to go, you know what? Screw those guys. I'm not listening tomorrow to find out what uh, you maybe is going to hear about. it. Yeah, I double dare you. <laughs> Somewhere in your subconscious, you're going to be like, i, I, I got to tune that show in again. Sometimes it went on for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you have ever seen before and nothing you have ever heard before will prepare you for the shock of... <laughs> My baby is black. <laughs> now, the motion picture screen reaches its full maturity in this dramatic, bold story never before told on the screen. That yeah. baby didn't sound black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crying. Sorry, I was trying to play a sound effect and it didn't work. It didn't work. Oops. Well, I, I could why. I could tease the second clip. The second clip of My Baby is Black from 1961. Oh, okay. Class 61. watching, class watching an educational film. Ooh. Social workers talk about uh, <laughs> civilizing black kids. All right. Let's <laughs> give it a listen. I'm open minded. Oh, uh, but. <laughs> oh. oh, montage! That's yeah. the end of the show music. Hey man, that just starts on its own. I don't know what to tell you. Damn, I was about to play track two. Yeah, you're see, not we really tomorrow, try right? to get to you're it. You're not going to listen tomorrow, right? I dare you. Try not to listen tomorrow. I dare you. <laughs> tell your friends not to listen tomorrow. And tell them why they shouldn't listen tomorrow. I dare you. You know what? I'm going to listen tomorrow as I'm packing my suitcase on my way to go to Washington, D.C. to the Improv this weekend. Well, really? Yes. Are you going to be there? Uh, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. Checking out some of the monuments. Yeah. Telling some jokes out at the club. Some at jokes. And uh, BillBurr.com. Yep. There you go. com slash Bill Burr. Norden. Chicago this weekend. I get to see Sh Steve Dahl on Friday. Oh, really? Yeah. You're doing Dahl show? Yeah, Friday afternoon. Tell him we said hi. Nice, CKG absolutely. Checking in. All Thanks, right, guys. Steve. If you're not joining us over at XM, have a great day. Yeah, my... Hey, we're here. He's a complete fuck. Sorry. Oh, oh, wait, we're on. Come on Teasing, go. of course. I'm we still not chatting. set to do this walk over today. We were chit-chatting. What are you, cold? No. I'm oh. My... Oh, no, I know. I, I know you come out of that revolver. Jimmy. How you doing, that, Pally? All tenderly. You getting that stainless steel all nice <laughs> and clean? Doing? Good. Hi. All right. Oh, excuse me, miss. Hi. That guy's one of the good guys, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we he like says him. Hi, every day to us. He's a good boy. He's a good guy. He's polishing the uh, stainless steel on the building that only goes up um, 80 floors. Yeah, he's polishing the what? bottom like two feet of it. What <laughs> yeah. <hell? laughs> you know what I always think when I see a guy like that? I'm like, what did he want to be when he was growing up? Not the guy that polishes the <laughs> exactly. stainless steel building. Exactly. I want to be that. But we like this guy. Huh? But we like this guy. <laughs> no, we do like this guy. He's shitting all over his job. Dude, like, that you know guy what else? is polishing, but he's happy as hell doing it. But you know what else? He's got to, like, he didn't make the decision to do that. A boss told him to polish the building. How do you polish a fucking building? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who did he piss off? He must have forgot to empty the, uh, what are we looking at? Can't say it on the air, but I want to make Anthony laugh. It was Anthony. the um, other line. Yeah, yeah. You guys talk for a second. What? what? Hey, talk, Jimmy, talk, how are you? Noise. Talk, cover the noise. Talk, cover the noise. I don't know. He's saying something in secret. <laughs> <laughs> that was cruel. <laughs> cruel, but hysterical. <laughs> Sometimes you just got a oh, really hemp private joke. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Are you figuring it out? Yeah. Okay. I was going to tell course. you, too, but there were two of you in your face. face. All right, good. Sorry, sometimes the walkover is private. That's, I know. It's, I don't even get it. It's so private. That's the beauty of me. My jokes are funny off air. We saw. We saw. Um, <laughs> Why is whose mic sucks? Mine is. Uh, but it could just be the um, headphone thing. So mine is going. <laughs> yeah, it's going. <laughs> I've been doing that the too, Jimmy. That was a great impression. The closer Michael we get, Winslow the better. Let's over just here. keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do voices. I do malfunctions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. We got to check these yeah, mics. I think, I think so, Jimmy, where are you working in Chicago this weekend? What's that? Where are you working in Chicago this weekend? Zanies. Zanies. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's cold in New York. Chicago is going to suck. It's uh, 21 degrees, light snow today in Chicago. Oh, burr. 
I'm, I'm the rain man when it comes to that crap. It's a beautiful day out, huh, guys? It stinks. It's going to get colder, too, by the way, here in New York City. Uh, we started off with a temperature of about 55 degrees. It's going to be dipped down into 30s tonight and up for 20s in the suburbs. Anthony, can you tell us about the weather? You, you better get out your earmuffs this weekend. <laughs> Lows in the six. Six digits? I can't six even digits. I was gonna in say six. I was going to say 16 degrees, and I had backed myself in. Lows in the six, six digits. He's doing six fucking digits. weather from Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Uh, I stink on the walkover. It's going to be I got a chilly 4,200,000. <laughs> <000. laughs> I only had it in the thousands. Uh, that only went out to like 4 million people. Right? Nah, don't worry about no it. No big deal. No one's listening. It's not like it gets hey, replayed Anthony, you ever four want to drive times through either. Manhattan and sh- shoot those old-fashioned water towers on top of the old buildings there? Yeah, watch huh? them all leak out or Live explode. Without some sort of Clint Eastwood fantasy? Ah, uh, that would be nice. Fun. Why do they still have those? Like, it's 2007, and there's wooden water towers like Petticoat Junction. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like we're pulling into Clarksville? Yeah. It's 2007. There should be some futuristic thing. I want to. Th- I want wooden th- water tanks. I want to thank the two regulars for doing the walkover today. Yes. Everyone else stayed home because it's a little cold. Yeah. You, Everyone else, on, man. go screw you, babies. It's 60 degrees. We got 100 people out here that wants to get freezing. Check out the show. I didn't like that guy sticking his head out of the DHL van like he's in a Bjork video. <laughs> <laughs> this is a damn good recall. Uh, all right. Are we done or no? Uh, yeah. I think so. We have to walk up the steps. So they should go to break right now. Bye. Opie. You know, I could have been a model. Anthony. I'm gay. James Norton. I like yogurt. Robert Reed. <laughs> but enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. We want to congratulate Anthony. This is a very rare thing that happens on the Opie and Anthony show. Of course, the first show is heard on regular radio, and the uh, first half of the show, I should say. And, uh, you know, they got to keep it FCC friendly. But you yeah. here at XM gets get the uncensored version of the show. Chaps for the curse But words. it's kind of fun to uh, take a look at the dump report from time to time. And uh, this is very rare. One dump, and it was by our pal. Anthony, the yeah. responsible one on the Opie and Anthony show. Usually, uh, but I called it when I, right when I said it. Yeah. Right when I said it, I said, ah, they're going to dump that. And they might be learning over there. We were just discussing this just before we turned the mics on. They allowed semen to go through. They allowed Wonderful. fried semen go to go through. through. <laughs> they didn't dump on semen. Yeah. Well, Al didn't because they didn't dump semen. <laughs> it's a food reference. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, maybe they're listening over there because we're... It doesn't we're, have egg whites or shells in it. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, one dump today, Anthony, 7.13 a.m., raped Don Larson with a pen. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do that. It's just talking about it. You can't even talk about well, it. Well, it was in two of them. I said he raped Don Larson, and you said with a pen, and it's like with a it, pen. It, it didn't context. It was, and yeah. then, right, I know you could talk about rape. You just can't say sure. raped with something, yes. or, and I said it. Let's say hi to Chris in Florida. Nah, Chris. I'll dumped. Chris, what's up? Hello. Chris. Hey there, Chris. Yeah. You're outside? Yeah, I was outside. I was wondering if I'd come up and watch the show. Considering oh, you're the you. only listener that showed up for the walk, I don't count those other two guys uh, that, yeah, that are there man every day. There. What? Walkie, walkie Talking Man was out here. So he even you know that Walkie Talking Man is outside every day. What is that? Is it a ham radio? Are we on a ham know, radio like channel a, as well? <laughs> We're on everything he else. playing something off the antennas. Has anyone uh, asked that guy uh, what what what, what thing that hey, thing Chris, is? Why don't you go yeah. up, come upstairs, and do what you do best, and just watch and listen? Yeah. Instead of yapping no over of yapping, us talking, we're getting into maybe a possible bit here. Does anyone know what that guy does with that walkie-talkie every day? Have we asked him? No. Yeah, I know. Dan, you know? Oh, Dan. Dan. Yeah, he basically picks up the because we send out a wireless signal back and forth. You know, from the mics on the street. So he's because he's picking up the actual signal that the mics send out. So, that's, Holy so, shit. so that fucking guy doesn't listen on free FM, doesn't listen on XM. He catches the show on the walkover through his through, through a frequency, <laughs> through a frequency on his ham radio. Whatever Not only is. that, doesn't that mean he can hear it the second we start talking? Oh, that there's some. Well, what's the problem? 
Oh, Danny and Mars going to duke it out. Kick his ass. Oh, there's a there's like some wow. What happened? There's probably some kind of issue. Brisk walk away. It's probably not supposed to be said, but I bet there's some kind of a broadcast issue. What? Why? <laughs> we don't know that guy. It's like pirate. Is, <laughs> it's all good, Mars. You gonna beat anyone up? That was a, that was actually nothing to do with what we were talking about. That was like a thing between two men that had had, had like a yeah. sexual encounter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like the way Danny was looking at us. What happened? Oh, secrets. How could you possibly get in trouble for that? There it is. A lot, of whispering. Da, 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 da. a lot of whispering. We don't know what you're talking about. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Oh, okay. Billy, your microphone's off. All right. Billy's I know. Mic is off. Bill's uh, microphone is off. Bill. Uh, Bill. Hello, Bill. Bill. Hello. Oh, there, there we go. he is. I was going to say, damn, I was doing I know there. nothing. <laughs> Some type of yeah issue. That, Danny got a little, Danny I, got a little uh, defensive. Yeah, but then Danny calmed down, and now I don't even remember what we were is talking it, about. Is it this? I don't know. They cut out my brain. C C yeah C C scar. C C Ryder. C C Ryder. Uh huh. Fuck. Cunt. Ah. Uh uh uh. 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 Fantastic. Uh. Clit. Cunt. I know nothing. I used to be in the military. Alpha. Niner. Someone is asking. Uh, well, and it? by the way, Danny Let didn't didn't, didn't calm down. Danny realized that Mars trains under Poe and would kick his stupid. Oh, I out. know. Oh, Danny just realized. Oh, I'm gonna get my fucking ass beaten. Yeah, Mars would do that just to impress Poe. <laughs> yeah, not because he needed to to defend himself or anything like that. Eric in Rochester, what's up? The home of Brother Weez. What's up, Eric? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Here today. Hey, good. Hey, quick question. I'm looking at my XM display here, and it says IOP. And I answered it. You didn't listen to the show yesterday. Well, excuse me for working. <laughs> he told you. Yeah. <laughs> in 1945 vernacular. <laughs> Such an old man response. Yeah. Good well, point. Excuse me for living. Good point, Eric. Good point. Uh, <laughs> his whole I, response. I, <laughs> I don't. I don't have a comeback for that one. Good I bet point. he shook his fist Some, too. Sometimes you, you got to realize when you're beat. You got me today. <laughs> got to give it up. Most of the time, listeners get freaked out if you give them shit and they yeah. back off. That yeah. dude just yelled at you like yeah. you're, you were in a little there. Excuse right. me for working. <laughs> yeah, Eric. Uh, we're, we're taking a page out of uh, Apple. Apple. We're doing this oh. until the cease and desist comes in. Everything with the, that lowercase i in front of it. Uh, iPod iMax, now the iPhone coming out. Everything like that is uh, very popular with people. It's uh, uh, very big. Yeah. A lot of people want them. A lot of people get them. So we figured we're going to be I, Opie, I, Anthony, I, Jim, and it's going to be the I, Opie, and Anthony show, yeah. the I virus here on IXM. And we're getting painted white today, by the way. Yes. I know we're white, but you got to get the real white. That real nice, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's the old version. That's white. There is a problem, though. My uh, my uh, corneas are easily scratched. <laughs> I actually missed that one. It just no, I, it's, Oh, and you won't hear it again. No, no, no. I was actually. <laughs> I don't care. Reading I don't like care. It, 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 what, that, that is replay. Wait, I don't get it. It would have killed uh, it, it hard. I'll explain it. But I won't do it again. I will acknowledge that you're explaining there, it not to get crashed again. There's a very uh, big problem with the iPods that they're, um, it's, it, it, the display gets scratched. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, you wow. think I like E-Y-E? <laughs> wow. No. I was just some type of display. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was horrific. Probably only well, so second that, that to like my a... white shorts line of 1999. <laughs> you, even, you even remember the year. you got to stay away from white jokes. Hey, good idea. <laughs> just anything that has to Black do jokes white. is all you're going to hear from me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You redeemed yourself. Yes, Jimmy, you were reading the paper. Oh, no, I just said that's why I didn't hear the line, so I was just reading it. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. The... I just didn't hear the line. I was like, I wasn't even trying it was to... It an obscure you're reference. Right blow today, it wrapped up in a pun. Um, yeah. No, yeah, well, the Missouri up. boys, we think that is just downright creepy. The guy uh, kidnaps one kid for how many years? Four years. Four years. And he was allowed to go to friends' houses, play outside, yeah. go on camping on trips. On the computer? He was allowed on the computer. Yeah, how about... And his parents, Help. His parents <laughs> never gave up hope of finding this kid. 
Yeah. And then the 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 creep kidnaps a, a new one, and then then the the case was broken uh, wide open. Yeah, there. he needed something a little well, younger. The second kid was like, "Hey, why don't we just leave? It's getting a little older." Well, you know what? Like, it, maybe he was starting to give him shit. No, nah, it's <laughs> like getting a new pair of sneakers. You you know you love the old sneakers, but they're getting old. They now smell. look at the picture <laughs> of the <laughs> smell. You gotta get a new pair. <laughs> look at the picture of the old kid. See, he's growing little sideburns in like that. Uh, yeah. You don't want that. He's got a hit song out right now. You need hairless. <laughs> well, yeah, he's getting to that age where you can almost be able to beat up your dad. So Yeah, and, and you know, uh, if he had a problem, he'd kick the crap out of him. So I was I was going with a John Mayer joke, but he didn't allow me to finish. Oh. I said a hit song out because, you know. And then I was going to bring it on home and say the guy looks like a very young John Mayer. He really does. I would think. I was thinking, give him the little round glasses and a magic wand, <laughs> and he would look exactly like little Harry Potter. <laughs> Dude, look at the, on, on occasions when he was out with his best friend uh, Tony. Cops picked them up, but they either dropped the pair off or let them go. Yeah, the, he's in the custody of the police at some point, and they return. Yeah, they're and out a they, little too too late at night. The cops see that. They pick yeah. him up and go, what the hell are you boys doing? Making sure everything's cool. And, they, you take and the kid is actually the going. kidnapper, please? Yeah, the kid is actually saying, I live over here. And he then the cops dropped him home again. Apparently. That, that's where they always start bringing up, like, being brainwashed and yeah. stuff. But I don't know. You're a bit of a, uh, a moron. It can yeah. happen. Colleen Stan was brainwashed. She was kidnapped by adults. They kept her for seven years. And they, uh, they actually kept her in a coffin under the bed. It was the worst story you've ever read. And they Ooh. convinced her that they were slave traders and that if she came forward, the police were involved. And they brainwashed her for so long. Eventually, they started letting... She actually went back to visit her family and then came back to the kidnapper. To the coffin? Yeah. They really... They, they convinced Ow. her that, hmm. uh, that that they were slave traders and her family would be killed. And she bought it. It was like a, it was like an ordeal. And did they the, use her for sex? Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. Boy, did they. Really That's dirty. always good. Let's say hi to Bruce in Massachusetts. Bruce, what's up? Hey, did you guys hear that the one that was kidnapped for four years, he actually was, got to use the Internet and would post messages to his family's website that they created so that he could, you know, they created to look for him. So he actually posted messages underneath his real first name, and the guy who kidnapped him, Delvin or something like that, as his last name, and said, like, how long are you going to look for your boy and all this other stuff? It was pretty freaky. See, there's something going on where I think there were some problems with this kid and his family uh, before he got kidnapped or ran off or whatever the hell they're going to call this. He probably knew the they, old guy. He probably yeah, knew he probably knew him. There's something else and, going on here. And kind of just, you know, didn't want to deal with the family anymore. But the, what was he, 11? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a weird age, you know. You think your parents are assholes and you, you leave and all of a sudden you got this guy who's, you know, hooks you up, he gets you a bike, sucks your dick, whatever the <laughs> fuck, you know, yeah. you want. And uh, maybe the guy was kind of fascinated with him. And Let you smoke a little pot. He probably knew the old guy, the old yeah. creepy dude from the neighborhood or whatever, and then fucking he just lived with him. He didn't, he didn't kidnap him. You don't think he kidnapped him? You no. There's going to be more that comes out with this story. No, because the kid had too much freedom too soon. You don't give a, a young kid that yeah. internet freedom at that age. He's post him. It just doesn't happen. Who knows? Mr. Devlin may have given a, quite a blowjob. Hey. How do you pass that up? Never know. Here for sex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted because I couldn't hang up the phone. Uh, Jeff in Wyoming. Jeff? Yeah, I listen mostly through uh, audible.com. And uh, I was listening to a show from about a year ago last night. And you guys started to play your first show together, and you never got around to that again. Good for you. Fucking wow. nice call. Oof. You know, Anthony took my only copy. You'll never hear it. Well, it was good, it. the part we heard. Did you really take it? Because I can't find it anymore. It was Did you come so in here on completely bad that I took it, I scored the disc, and snapped it into eight pizza slice-like pieces. Where Dropped then... them all off in different trash bins. Yeah, yeah, I did that so it could not be recovered. You don't think E-Rock has another copy ready to does. go? I know he does. <laughs> I thought if I said pizza, it would kind of distract him. <laughs> Manny's. <laughs> hey, can we hear like a couple of minutes of that? No. That was. I like the fact yeah. that you sound so young and Anthony sounds so happy. Yeah. We got to play one day. Shut up. Exactly. We got to play one day. And we got to do it right. We got oh. to invite the guys in and we just got to sit back and to. just take it. I don't want to. We have to sit back and take it. It's Even if we so have to bad. look out the window and not look these guys in the eye. Did you get embarrassed? Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, it's it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's 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 the first show we ever did, and it's um, Dude, that show got us a job. I was um, 
Well, maybe the subsequent shows got us a job. No, that most show, of, that most show that... got me in the door to do no, more no. shows with what you. What you don't understand is when we realized that we weren't staying at BAB and we were moving on together, I got most of the uh, bits for the demo that I sent out from that first show. I was I was hammered. And the radio uh, community was just hammered. blown away. He used to do 7 to Midnight, and I was in a band... So, like, I would come in at 7 o'clock at night. I'd already, like, worked, gone to b the ex-wife's bar, where she was tending bar, drank. Used to drink when I drove everywhere. I never drove anywhere without a bottle of beer right between my legs, driving. Just drinking the whole time. And then at the studio, more drinking. And uh, just hammered. And, and and I could hear it in myself. Like, I hear, oh, I'm fucking, I'm just hammered. I'm I'm all happy to be there. <laughs> but it's, I'm laughing it's at everything a little too much, you know. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I was people pretty, will, that, that's weird know, how some I'm people some slack. It was some 12 people, years ago. Some people are able to look at stuff that they did in the beginning and laugh at it. Like I won't I have tapes of me when I first started out oh. doing stand up. I will not look at Never, it. Never, right? I, I was dating this girl one time. She goes, I want to see it. I go, she kept bugging me. I go, fine, you want to see it? Oh, Here it oh. is. And I left. I, I went, I went Everyone to the, else wants to see or hear it. I, I went to the store. I went, I went to the store. I had, or maybe I went to the other room. I can't remember. I remember the second, first of all, she saw me going over my big, like, red afro. And she just, like, just oh, immediately shit. put her hands up to her mouth. Oh, my God. It's like a horror I think, movie. I think my yeah. first joke is a pun. I can't remember. It was, it, it's five. Did you bring it in? Of the words. Never. Yes, I brought mine in no, from 93, see, three so years in the business. We got to explain. Yes, when we were at NAW, we used to do this bit. I think Jimmy started where you bring in, and this is where we're leading to our first show, but we had all these guys bring in their early material, and it was brutal. The best one ever was Voss. Oh, it's, Voss it's, is yeah. great. The stuff is uh, so like dated also that... Like like that that stupid George Burns thing. It was like George Burns' hundredth birthday was was coming up or something. So he was in the news a lot. And then it was a song that was being played on the radio all ad nauseum. Like every two seconds, Get the Funk Out was being played. So I did George Burns singing Get the Funk Out. How great is that? We've got and, to replay and that. It's horrible. Like now I hear it and just can't I wanna bite the the microphone and anything around me, my own <laughs> fit. I want to punch myself. But, but that's why we got to set a day aside, oh. and we have to just do it and let these guys go. Okay, how about? No, you, I'm not, no Friday joke. or this a, Friday? A Sunday. No, no, 2028. <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to it. How about you take the day off that day? It's impossible. I can sit through it. I can sit through it. I know it's gonna be brutal, but I can sit through it. I can. There are days. Where even this show, like uh, a replay comes oh, on, yeah, and, I just, and it'll be on. And I go, oh my god! Could yeah. you? I'll go to my girlfriend. I'll go. Could you shut me off? I cannot listen to another word out of my mouth. <laughs> I just I've done that. I, sick of me. That at me this weekend. I was actually walking <laughs> to my hotel room, and it was the weirdest thing. I, I, I dropped off my bags. And I was going back out to meet these people uh, at this bar, and I'm hearing my voice. <laughs> Is I'm like having the door open. And I thought maybe I sometimes I accidentally you know, I hit the recorder for my set and that was on. And I'm thinking it's not on. And it was somebody literally watching Comedy Central oh, in the next shit. hotel room. Wow. And I'm hearing my stupid voice. And I'm going oh. in the next room. And I'm literally going you should like. Have knocked on the door and said, "Could you turn that shit down?" Oh, I was thinking in my head, <laughs> "Stop that yelling." Be funny. Do you have to yell every joke? You're awful. That's all I was thinking. I literally, I started humming like an idiot. Uh, yeah. I tried to drown it out as I Dude, went down to get to the elevator. You should have knocked on that door and freaked them out, man. <laughs> that would have been great. Just yeah, knock on their out. door. Oh, that would have been funny. And can you freak them you out? Shut that shit they would off? tell that story yeah. for the rest of their lives. Oh yeah, we yeah. were watching, and then you the guy knocked on the door and go, "Can you turn down your fucking TV and see if he even figures it out?" Then you realize it's the wrong room and you get your fucking <laughs> throat cut <laughs> watching <laughs> porno. I also wanted to leave before I heard somebody moaning like, "This guy sucks." Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, see, that's another thing. He's, he's, all he's doing is yelling. I can't. Uh, I, I, I'm like that. I can't listen to it subjectively. I can't just. I hear every little inflection, every line, every little pause, everything I hear. You also do. Why? You gotta do this. 
It's putting Long it Island's best rock, WBAB Soul Asylum. Yeah. Black Gold, Steve Miller, and the latest from REM. What's the frequency, uh, Kenneth, as you do? The nighttime right. attitude, it's Opie aboard. Thanks for checking out the program tonight. Okay. And we got another fine show planned for you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. We got my pals. I was way too nice. My delivery is way too, hey, I'm your friend. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm being edgy, but I'm also your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Anthony is coming what, Anthony, A lot of people Anthony's agree like that, Anthony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always, Shut up. We always get, gotta to, get off. We God, always get just, to this point, and then we really can't, can't go much can't, further. I can't, can't, can't go much further. Between <laughs> on board and I'm fucking, like, always running a, sh a pirate ship. <laughs> Thanks for coming on board. And I'm fucking, mm -hmm. ah, yeah, I'm just he's like, yeah. Like, he's, like, he's like Paula Abdul. Yeah. We got a great show. Come on, right. boy. I'm, all, all right. I'm too and fucking happy to be there. This time around, we're only no. 28 seconds in. Let's try to get to a minute. Just no, get to a minute. not a minute. Let's just get to, we'll, no. At least try. No. Just I, tell me when you have to punch out. Officially. I'm punching out. No. Tap. No, no, no. You got to stop when you tap. All right, here we go. Let's at least try to get to a, a complete minute. He took his headphones off. His headphones, off. headphones are off. I can't He's listen. covering himself with a coat. Listen. Can I make some phone calls and conduct business during this segment? <laughs> Joe and Anthony from Rotgut, live in the studio. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, man. Uh, just in case people don't know who you are yet. Yeah, well, all oh, that, that They are the famous, the, the famous authors of uh, Gun Electric Shock OJ, which mm -hmm. you're going to do live on the show tonight. That's right. And you're going to do other uh, ditties. Yeah, other wacky, kooky stuff over here. You know? <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's a funny way to answer. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Anthony. Shut it off. Good. Shut it off. I can't take he it. He sounds like somebody doing a bad impression of George Carlin doing the wacky radio Shut guy. Up. Shut up. Shut up. Anthony, that was wacky. good. By the way, this is no Look. fucking bit. He oh. really is uncomfortable in his skin right now. Oh, I can't take yeah, this. I, I know can't. exactly. No, I can't I do it. I'm not I'm the kind of guy that can do this. I can't do rope. I can't like be roast. I can't. I I'm, can't. I'm getting major douche chills, but I'm like, I'm no, dealing. it's worse than I'm douche dealing, chills. But, but with something Anthony. deep seated, I can't. I can't deal with it. And you know what it is? I'll freak you, out. You're bringing on the humiliation now because I'm not even thinking about making fun of Opie because you're underneath your coat. But right now. I can't. I yeah, say because there's a lot uh, to make fun of me about. Uh, Wait. No. All you got to do is just admit. Yeah. I, I said I, ditties. I said, uh, and you, and, I said, and you said Soul Asylum, of course. Uh, oh, I'm, what's your, I'm your frequency neighborhood DJ. Now Jim's going to pull his phony it's no. okay shit. <laughs> I, here it comes. Don't be such geese. Opie made a good point. He goes, we got a uh, rock get here tonight. And Anthony went, that's right, Opie. I think oh, it's no. important to agree. Right, listen, let's try. You know what? You're right. Uh, you start to hear the chemistry between yeah. the two of them. He yeah. was agreeing. That's where the chemistry I began. Fucking... Right there. Right there. Could I you play that again? Because I don't think I heard no. that. I don't think I heard I can't go backwards. I usually go oh, backwards God. with these things. I can't like he's covering himself. <laughs> oh, but that's where the chemistry began. This is the first time we're on, on, uh, on mic together live in a studio. Let's try. Try, Anthony. Oh, if there are aliens, please beam me up to a ship. I don't want to be on this planet Dude, right it, now. It, Dude, I honestly... Shut up. How will he know you agree with him if you don't tell him? That's right, OB. It's okay. <laughs> you were correct. All right, let's try to get to two minutes. No! Let's, let's I have to get oh, to two I minutes. I will say this. Yeah. My, I, I had a Friday night video with my first TV spot recently, and I was trying to play it for my girlfriend. Yeah. I got through 30 seconds of it because I was a high energy guy and I was co I was coming out like the nervous quirky guy and I rubbed my head and I went, ah, uh, how you doing? I feel <laughs> oh, no. sexy. And it was like this joke about how I'm not sexy and I had to stop it. Is is the audio good? It's from television. It's really Can you bring is it, it is in? Is it good? Can no. Is it, it clear as a bell? Can you bring <laughs> of course it, in? it is. Of course it is. Can you bring it in? Yeah, of course I will. Yes. This uh, text. really bad. From my sister Dawn. Simple. Ew. <laughs> my fucking sister just texted me. E W W W. All right, let's try to get to two minutes today. The last time oh, we did this, I think we got about a minute in. We're, that was a misspell. She was trying to write aw, a with a bunch of dots. No, we're at fifty she seconds smells in. Smells this stink. We're at fifty seconds in. Look, and, look, and look. This first bit is sixteen minutes. Can I? Can, can I? Sixteen minutes. Can't the defense have a few words? I hadn't done radio. I was in a band. You could never tell, though. You were this, so nasty. Shut up. <laughs> this is me after uh, uh, few, a few beers. All right. Is that trying 
to make some type of impression on the great Opie, oh, Jesus. who who at that point was a radio, you know, you I, had a radio I, I, career going for yourself, and I wa- I would have loved to have gotten into radio. I hate to say this, but at this point, counting college radio, I've been, I've been doing it a decade, so I have no excuses. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do radio. I was so nervous and so like wanting to have Opie go. Oh my God, this is great because I knew this was my only foot in the fucking door. <laughs> I got lightning in a bottle. So I was hey, over. You know I was so overdoing things. Look, you know what though? That's exactly what happened that day. I, was, I thought it was oh. great, and uh, you know, it's 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 yeah, but you know, what, it's dated now, of course. Oh. But as far as like two guys doing a show, there was there was like major potential there, and we and we've been riding it ever since. I'm not going to be able to right, make it past to, George Burns. All right, let's get it to two minutes get the here. funk out? We're 49 <laughs> seconds in. Right, Bill just winced. Bill just visibly winced at me. But but because I know what you're going through. That's the funny thing about this oh, fucking business. Is by the time it. everybody sees you, you know what you're doing. But there's no class mm. on how to learn how to do radio. No. They'll teach them and they'll take your money. But you keep, people send you emails all the time. We're, hey. I'm starting out doing stand up. You, you got any any tips? And it's just no, like it's like the old school dad teaching you how to swim. They just throw, throw you in the deep end. Right. You're like, ah, sink ah. a swim, right. you little fuck. <laughs> this is what I, I say. Uh, you're suffering, Anthony, but I think we're gonna do this until you definitely can't take any more. I know. This, I'm there, man. I, nah, I, you're almost I, there. This is so. All right, back hard. to the tape. Forty nine seconds. In Don't right look at just, me, just Billy. Rip the bandaid off. Just rip it off, man. Here just we sit go. here. I'm trying. Here Deal we go. with it today. I, I, I'm, try I'm, try, I'm trying to man up over here. Let's move a little further in. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> a little bitter. We gave Eddie Vedder the idea to do that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's what someone just said. You know, they heard Pearl Jam's version of Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, and they were expecting uh, to hear the OJ version. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he got, sounded like it was heavily sedated. <laughs> <though>. right, <yeah. laughs> All right, I need a ruling. I started a new bit oh, yesterday. God, so- no. All right, I'm out. Oh. No, we'll give you a ruling. Is this, is this <laughs> fucking hard? I'll be honest now. I'm Come on, Opie. <laughs> no, Opie, I, I, I want to hear some fuck of your old stuff. Yeah, I want to hear some of your old stuff. Jim, no, dude, Jim, Jim. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time, that, out, man. Time, time out, time out, time out. It was fun, but it's not fun. Time out. There's five people in here. Oh, wow, Bill. I wonder what they're going to vote. We're going to take a vote. Come on, it's America. Stan, sit your... Oh, please, you know how she's going to vote. Fucking... <laughs> oh boy, I'm so out. I need. Come to... on, oh, come on. Boy. Anthony took a couple. Oh, no, just take one. This is so <laughs> no, horrible. Is really oh, what is that, Iraq? Uh, well, you guys doing Electric Shock OJ live? Oh Jesus! What was the the, the bit? Because I would be willing uh, yeah. to give a ruling. I mean, I think it's fair. I, this I don't is radio remember. history. You can't deny. Oh, me. and it there it the should listeners. remain like fucking Pompeii, buried in volcanic ash. Come on, <laughs> it's horrible. Opie, Opie come on. It's too dated. Oh my God. It's, I, I'm, I'm too happy to be there. I'm Opie's sweating. doing his <laughs> his radio show like. Look, <laughs> I never deny that I did some hacky stuff. It, it, it's, right. it's, it's, Opie's I not even looking at anybody. Look at him. He's staring, staring at out. his fucking cereal like the to, Rain Man. I had to listen to a boss uh, back in the day because I had no choice. This is so oh, difficult. Blaming the audience. Let it, let it be known we haven't listened to a boss in over 10 years. This is, uh, I can't. I, I can't the deal. Uh, Holy oh. shit. I started a new bit yesterday. Celebrity Death Watch. Right, yep. Uh, all right, you might have been, you might have heard this oh, last yeah. night. Monday, Jessica Tandy, the old broad from uh, Driving Miss Daisy, died. Stop hey, smiling, Dan. I'll take that Dan. contract. How long is it? <laughs> it's 85. Oh, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know about you, but I've oh, always dude, been Jimmy. under the... Uh, not, not that bad, I, I, celebrities die in threes, basically. Always. Always, right? So it's the Celebrity Death Watch. I guarantee two more prominent celebrities will die <laughs> before October 1st. So... I can't. Okay. Dude, maybe it's a hacky bear. That's not awful, though. It's like you were just a local guy. That Honestly, not that bad. A celebrity death. I know. Yeah, I was actually right, enjoying whatever. it. I'm wondering who the Shut celebrities Shut up, you <laughs> lying cunt. Were. No. You're not. Dude, it, honestly. I'm telling you, honestly. Like, the part that I think is really, like, the type <laughs> that I would feel like a dick about is, is, is when you went, okay, open. Like that? All right, yeah. <laughs> but a celebrity death watch. Stop it. Yeah. Don't rub it in. Not that bad. It's extremely painful there, to Some of it will to. be, but that... The, will be. I honestly, I honestly didn't think that part was that bad. I'm not even being I, a dick. No, not, I'm telling you. You know me well enough to know me huh. sarcastic. I'm really not. 
Believe me, I'm sure plenty of this is horrid. I still have a little, I can't listen I, I still, to one thing I say. I'm barely hanging in there. I'll be honest. I'm on the ledge. I, I got my fingernails. I can I can hear just a little more. So. I'm, I a fell. Little bit. I fell already. A little bit. I can't listen to one word out of my fucking mouth. I Not one word. You're that chick at cliffhanger at the beginning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just let go. <laughs> yeah, I just let go. I can't listen to one word without cringing. I'm too <laughs> Before happy to October first, be so we're just waiting and watching. George Burns in the hospital the it other day. It was a day. close call, but, very close call. But he got out of it. Yeah. Ninety-eight years old, he has like his brain is swelling. He, he pulled out. And he pulled out of it. I was like, darn. <laughs> I always wanted to see. I'm out. Okay. Well, no, no, why that dude? No, that, he was. Ha you lucky he didn't get thrown. Thank God the FCC wasn't listening. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Such a harsh reaction. <laughs> oh no! This is. <laughs> I was like. Darn. Darn. <laughs> no, Jimmy, I'm just saying that Jimmy is We're picking up together, on all this. Fucker. Dude, I'm all just right, saying fine. Jimmy's picking up on fine, this. Fine. And he's being the fuck about it. Fine. I'll, I'll, we got to play this on the other no, side. No. Darn. Fine. This is horrible. Darn, darn should be a sound Fine. Effect. I'll rewind. Darn. But now I continue the tape. Because no. I'm going to stop right no, there. No, I'm with you. And you weren't with me. You jumped I'm off. I'm with you. There, Opie, man. he went long he, and prosper. He, he I'm wasn't with, with you. you. He wasn't with you, Opie. <laughs> Shut up. Totally wasn't. What a dick. I played the whole tape. This eight years old, he has like his brain is swelling. He pulled out. And he pulled out of it. I was like, darn. I always wanted to see George Burns. Okay, okay. How'd you guys land a job like that? Weren't they afraid you'd get you'd throw get thrown off the air for language? Did hey, they, did you throw your fist to the side like darn? G Willikers. Boy. <laughs> you really were Opie. Came a long way from yeah, I said fuck on the air, and I'll say it again. Yeah, there you go. That's when I was tough. Oh, Dude, from darn. That's a great to clip, us. by the way. Speaking of faggots, we have calling in today. Well, yeah. Jesus, it's quite a progression. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. I'm sweating. Wow. Th this just is beyond. I know. I'm all fucking sweaty hot now. Listen to this. It's not even that bad, guys. <sighs> Shut up. Shut up. I'm telling it's you, it's not horrid. It's just because you're Everywhere. in on the tape, you feel it. Yeah, it's, yes, but it's not exactly it's, it's, is what I'm trying to say. Right. It's, That's it's, exactly what I'm saying. It's not yeah. that bad. Oh, I wanna, I wanna reach back in <laughs> of all the things I could do with a time machine, kill Hitler. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I would go back to this ass on the radio and slap him silly and say, "Knock it off! Stop being so happy to fucking be here." Here's a deal. Oh. We've attempted this bit. I don't know, four or five times. We've never gotten past George Burns singing Get the Funk Out. <laughs> I can't Let's try to at least get past no, that part of the it's tape. so <laughs> bad. That was and he pulled out. And he pulled out of it. I was like, darn. <laughs> I always wanted to see George Burns singing um, that, that extreme song. Why if you don't like what you see here, <laughs> get the funk out, yeah. <laughs> But he never does that. <laughs> Very good. Maybe now, after he's bopped on the head. But I need a ruling. I got an obituary. Patrick O'Neill, 66. Mm. People are going, Patrick, Patrick who? Now, I said it has to be a prominent celebrity. Yeah. This guy was in Stepford Wives, 1975. Ooh. What do you think? Uh. It's on the fence. Is he prominent? Let me, let me see, Joe. What do you think? I, 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 I rule me. No. 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 All right. So it's still one with two celebrities one. to go two weeks from now. Two to go. <laughs> two to go. All right. Well, we're going to debut real... I, yeah. that was a great bit. I can't. It was a great that, bit. That, you got past the George Burns thing, and it's actually just you guys, you're just no, talking. It's, it's no. actually, you guys got past it. Yeah, I didn't I'm get past it. I'm still dealing with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not past it. Which is Why a, did I care if George Burns sang Extreme? The key is dude, you understood that a lot no, of people were curious. No, Why? No one wanted to hear that. No, it made sense because he's George Burns. <laughs> Should I recreate the yes. one? <laughs> I couldn't possibly. Come on. You fucking ass. Couldn't get the song wrong this time, shithead. I thought it was really embarrassing because I actually bought this tape and thought it was a good song when it was out. Did you? When did you buy it and where? Um, I don't what know. What was going uh, through your life when uh, when that happened? Stop changing the subject. Uh, I said we try to fight our way me, out of please. this. Please, no. we'll fight our way out. You of got this. through a bad part, and you know else was going to happen, and we can move on. We should take a break. You're really. in a decent yeah, part I, now. Yeah, too, I have man. incredible stamina today. I don't know about We've you, been. Uh, uh, great. Yeah, yeah. Nah, this is the first. That's about XM. You don't have to take breaks. Beautiful. You just, That's too much. Like Forty-five minutes. This is the furthest Ooh. we've ever gotten. Ooh. With the tape.
Unless so there's something horrible coming up. Travis, Travis has a faggy picture holding a cat. What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm throwing out oh, anything I can. Yeah. Well, Shit. Get the pick out. Got emailed. <laughs> All right. <you> <laughs> <ass>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we're going to debut real fast a, uh, a a song from Rod Gut yep, about yep. the uh, Cuban refugees. Right? There was a... Uh, what is wrong with this? I say this All right. is very here's topical what's wrong, here's what's wrong with because it. Fidel Castro uh, did yep. a death watch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. This yeah. Perfect yeah. Today because... Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I shut the fuck up for a minute? Can I just let you talk without? Yeah. Blah. No. Oh. There's a mic in front of me. I couldn't shut up for two fucking seconds. I had to agree with everything. Well, what, just, but Anthony, yes. And... W w weren't you like excited to to like be getting a fulfilling a dream? It. W it yeah. Obviously. Uh -huh. That's the point. That's that's so embarrassing. Is that I was put in this position where I could have been like cool and collected and and, and done radio with an established radio show. You know what? But but I I was like a fucking giddy fucking little girl in there <laughs> laughing and and yucking it up. See, oh, I'm disgusted with that the, the, that audio. Most radio guys kind of liked it. Here's the problem, man. Shut up. <laughs> here's the problem. Most guys Secret tapes. Most guys didn't save their radio shows. I just happened to save everything. Why did you save this? Because I knew. I just knew. This should I have been knew. flung out the window. He knew you guys were going to be great. And yeah. uh, you know, a lot of those old Tonight shows don't even exist anymore. So the fact that they have this, uh, they take yes. them, right? Yeah. This well, is these great. actually are on. Dude. Kinescope. <laughs> you want? I got my college radio tapes. I'll bring those in. No problem. Now that I could listen to. Yeah, but uh, you have to bring something in. You have to bring something in. Jimmy, you have to bring something in. I have one of thirty. I'll bring. Very in. embarrassing. Um, Dan and Sam will just play songs. your show you did two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have very embarrassing, sappy '80s type songs that me and my brother wrote. All right, that's that good are enough. really bad. Why don't really have, incredibly bad. Why don't we have one of those... Uh, Deuce chill shows. Yeah, we'll go rewind or whatever you want to call it. Yeesh. And we'll rewind. Oof. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get a little further in the Oof. thing here. Yeah. Oof is right. I'll take a We've never been... ending on that one. All right, listen this to the bad. song that these guys came up with. And with Fidel Castro dying any day, it's very topical today. Oh, is it? 12 years later. Yeah, about yeah. the uh, Cuban refugees. Right. There was a, a Billy Joel made a tribute to the Bayman. Right. And we figured, you know, why not go to the other southern half of the states and make a little tribute to the Cuban boat people. Let's check it out on the Nighttime Attitude. I think it just goes in and out. Um, we, the whole song. On a broken pinata, of course, the obligatory parody. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I'm leaving Cuba like my brother did before. Him man is family sailing on the bathroom door. Right. My poor dead cousin was too dumb to build a boat. He learned the hard way that a Buick doesn't float. Now I sail on a cheese yeah. enchilada. And the water is up to my neck. But the one thought that keeps us all going is of cashing our first check. welfare check. It's not bad, dude. We're leaving Castro not because he's to be feared. We're just embarrassed by El Presidente's beard. That hairy matted mess, you know he must have lice. My mother's beard's long, but at least she keeps it nice. Now I sail on a man at all, man. Pizza. Oh, it's dated. What are you gonna it's do? It's not much, but it's all that I've got. How I wish I was Ricky Ricardo. Cause his drum. Yeah. 
love that. Alright. <laughs> I don't open the paper and start reading it during one of my parodies, motherfucker. I just dump water on Bill's newspaper. <laughs> that, um... <laughs> The, the only you, maybe if you did that now, there might be one or two lines you would you would make a little better. But that was good, man. I mean, oh. I'd love to to trash you, but thank you. Fucking, there was uh, what was one line? It was really oh, on the bathroom door. It was, it was oh, good. Yeah. The Buick doesn't float. Back in the old oh, uh, let's, uh, say song to, parody writing. Let's bit. say hi to Rude Dog. We've never gotten this far in the tape. We're five minutes in. Uh, Rude Dog, what's up? The nighttime attitude. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun thing. Hold it. Yeah, well. Oh, Your right. not helping the heat issue. Well, the nighttime attitude turned into the ONA virus. See, uh, it had to start somewhere. Rob in Iowa, what's up? Thank you. It had to start somewhere start. for the love of fuck. They didn't just start building fucking skyscrapers, you asses. Yeah, you don't stop with the day. You start with the top floor. Exactly. That's what everybody's something. saying. So, you know, keep playing the tape. The basement's usually a very ugly place. Right. You gotta start somewhere. Foundations, dirt and cement. Yeah, yeah, look at look the at pretty dirt, windows dirt in cement, chrome. Dirt, cement, and song parodies. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the first computer. Look at uh, look at uh, the old disc man. Is now the tiny little shuffle that iPod has. Right. So you had to start somewhere. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the creativity was there, though. Right. I, I've. Uh, Rob and I, what's up? Let's see it. Yeah, I just wonder where I can order some rock gut music. Actually, Joe's still uh, peddling rock gut stuff, right? Of course. I don't know where. Ant doesn't even know where. Joe's in Vegas. Uh, yeah. I think at the Mirage for a month, all month long. Doing you too? Yeah. Are Jesus. they staying at the Mirage? Yeah, I think so. Jesus. I know. Uh, apparently, if you can't get you two, you get my brother. <laughs> That's, can we book you two? No, they're busy. Get me Joe. And the amazing thing is, he has a, bon a new Bono every week, and he still yeah. pulls it off somehow. That's it. All right. Uh, so far, not bad. So why don't we continue? Do, uh, There's one thing I will be completely honest. As soon as it happens, because I know it will happen, I am completely out, and you're gonna have to fight me to oh, get push I know, play again. I, 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 I know. I'm what not you even mean. kidding. I know what you, you mean. You will have to physically fight me, sit on me, and then hit play again, because oh, that will be it for me. That will be it. It for really me. hasn't been that bad. So far, not. I, I'm all right. No, but there's I, one I'm thing not. he knows. I think Jimmy. Know, attitude, I don't know. You know? No, you do this know, is the Joe. The kind of radio uh, I would have listened to back then. Shut up. I'm telling you, there's one thing, <laughs> and it's coming. And when it does, I'm done. I know when you're done. punching out. Done. This is oh. no explanation. I, I have explained it, oh, but my it, phone is going off like right. crazy. <laughs> Another text. Hold on, let's see. Oh, it's dawn again. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? Imperial. Remember that? Maybe it's a song or something. Don't be so cryptic, Dawn. You dummy. All right, here we go. Let's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm Except lashing out. That, oh, rock God on the nighttime attitude. And on the eighth day. St. John's, founded by the Vincentian community in 1870. Long Island's best rock, WBAB. Hold his eyes, though. Oh, we're live. 102.3 WBAB, Long Island. It's Opie in the nighttime attitude. All right. All right, I got through that. Uh, 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 it's bad. I I get it, but I'm all right. Well, I sound like you were so gonna say live my... in Long Island, and you just you were like tripping and then I fucked it. Yeah, yeah, well, so duh. My That's stammering fine. started way back then. Who are you kidding? It's <laughs> fine. Holy crap! So just something my blood pressure. <laughs> oh, Long Island. It's Opie in the nighttime attitude. Squeeze, of course, and tempted. Sending that out to Sally in Levittown, faithful listener of the program. Oh, you yeah. have to do. My choice, Opie. <laughs> I'm out of my mind tonight because I got Joe and Anthony from Rotgut, and these guys are you that guys are us. you guys are mental. But, That's right. But thanks for stopping mental. on by. I appreciate it. No Any problem. Anytime. We're glad to do it. <laughs> why? Russo, why am I talking like that? Because he's crazy. Why crazy. am I doing that? <laughs> You're nutty. Why am I? Why, just fucking talk, you. Dumb fuck. <laughs> Why? But it was funnier to go any... Like, that was, <laughs> can you play that again? Like, his delivery was impressive. Jimmy, we're going to get your first appearance on this show. Dude, oh. my... I I came in... Nine, there's nothing you'll do. If you blew each other on air, it wouldn't be as embarrassing <laughs> as my 1993 tape that I played. How we did Where I was the high energy, please love me guy. I hear it. Yeah, that, was, you... that went to the core of who I was. This is just... This is just newness and nervousness. That's funny. That was your most honest stuff was when you first went Jimmy, on Jimmy, will you bring it in tomorrow? 
I'll bring in my a better one, which is the Friday Night Videos one, because the audio is clear. Yeah, let's yeah, of clear. course. I have it on DVD. All right, all right, but, all right if you oh, agree Joe's with that, at the Imperial. Can... Oh, that's, that's what, what that it was. was. The right. Imperial. No Any time. <laughs> We're glad to do it. Pizza Deluso, Comac. Oh, gee, uh, no. that would be that would be Cliff. Yeah, no, that would be Cliff, oh, Joe, on, and Greg. Joe. All we have to do is say it ten times, and we get it. A... Joe is the king of the plug from day one. Day one, day one Joe would just plug. plug everything. So apparently, if he said Pizza Deluso ten times, they were gonna they were gonna bring a pizza. Bye. So yeah. yeah, and I was always kind of a little embarrassed by that whole aspect. I thought. Perhaps, you know, as I'm trying to latch on to a radio career here, doing my great, great material, <laughs> that uh, maybe just plugging to get a free pizza, that wasn't the time let's, nor place. Let's say hi to Madonna, Mike. Mike, what's up? Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, who's playing at Sundance this weekend, boys? <laughs> you know, I don't know what happened to the phone there. I got <laughs> something. Uh, <laughs> on Mars, the phones, they uh, explode. I really don't know. I got to say, though, I mean, 10 plugs for a free pie. <laughs> I mean, that Joe, what a negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Christ. Really? What the, eight minutes of air time. This was a pie in 94. Jesus. Six ninety five. Right. <laughs> he plugged for a $7 food item. The <laughs> movie was <laughs> four bucks. Uh, Jesus. 60 cents off the bill for each plug. Say it ten times and we get this a free pizza. Tasteless. Are you serious? They, it, they deliver it. They're going to deliver it right here. All right, do it real fast, right, guys. That would be Pizza Deluso, Pizza Deluso, Pizza Deluso, Pizza Deluso, Pizza Deluso. That's five, six. Pizza Deluso, seven. I said it, too. Pizza Deluso. Oh, so that's We're ten. up to 12. That's a point and a half. So all right, Joe, all right. Cliff, Cliff, get in your van and start down here. I want one with everything on it. That's great. Thank you. My boss is going to love that one. <laughs> that was that was about $1,000 worth of advertising. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. right. Hey, <laughs> hey, we have Sam Kinison in the studio tonight, too. Oh, no. Dude, I'm a Kinison fan. He, no. You didn't tell me he showed up. All right. Yeah. You guys were getting there like a guest back then all right hold on <laughs> i have to leave <laughs> no. i i really dude a celebrity this came is, in this is the second time in a week <laughs> an gonna... anthony co-host is walking off of a program on 202 well, you know what i gotta i gotta miss him i just anthony I'm, I'm not being a dick but it's this like... is actually on a lot of levels really cool to listen to yeah listen to you start out yeah sure <laughs> you gotta keep me in the room try your best you can bring in a I bet, I bet. dish coup to <laughs> fucking sit on my face, and I would still get up and leave. <laughs> Anthony. I, I, I can't listen. I love Sam Kinison. There's got to be yes, a rule where you can't leave. Opie. <laughs> Opie, there's got to be a rule where you can't leave. That, how can you have douche chills if you leave? Hey, he's got his son out there. Show. Yeah, he's got 50%. Oh, what okay. can I tell you? Oh. I could fucking leave. He's got 50%. What can I tell you? It's, uh... Have fun. I'm going to actually take a leak, I think. Sam Kinison, everybody. I'm Keep it going for Sam Kinison. Walk around. I might go downstairs and get some air. Uh, hey, uh, hey, we have uh, Sam Kinison in the studio. Whatever, today, too. Sam. Hey, old man. How you doing, uh, Beth? Rocking. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah we're hanging out nice with the guys field. tonight. Having... That's a good impression, Anthony. Where are you going? That's not bad Kinison. Anthony! Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's walking down the hall and he's mic'd oh. by E-Rock. <laughs> By the way, this is no bit. Get away! It's <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> He's in the bathroom now. I'm gonna take a piss. It's no, <laughs> no one allowed. <laughs> this seriously, honestly, is it's one, not, it's one of the. I think as an entertainer, it's one of the toughest things you could do is just bring out like after you've achieved the level of success, and then bring out some. Just when you sucked, yeah, and just totally take away that whole illusion that that you were always good. It's it, it's fucking brutal. It's no joke. Do you but know the thing is, is he's not that bad. Huh? That, that Sam sounded good. You know who loves listening to their old stuff? People that have failed in entertainment. They love yanking out the tapes and the videos and showing their friends. Like, yeah, look what I did. And they uh. show old stand up because they never got better. Or Bob Kelly, in his case, who's just doing the same jokes. Uh, most <laughs> <laughs> Most people get, really get the douche chills, though, every time they look at their old stuff. You're kind of supposed to. You want to hear the Sam Kinison while he's Yeah, it wasn't a bad Kinison. Right. Yeah. Tonight, too. Sam. Hey, old man, how you doing, bud? Pretty good. Yeah, we're hanging out with the guys tonight, having a good time. From Rod Cut? Yeah, I'm hoping that pizza comes down. I'm losing a little weight being dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what do you think of O.J. Simpson? Oh, uh, guilty as sin. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Nicole uh -huh. and her waiter friend. <laughs> yeah, she said he came up, looked pretty angry. Angry, stuck a knife in her, you know, the whole oh, deal. Okay, very good. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think it's time to do uh, Gun Electric Shock OJ live on the night. Uh, okay, that got a little Wait, bad. Let's get right yeah. to it.
High time bad. attitude. It's rot gut. Bad. Check this out. Popeye Kinnison. <laughs> <laughs> I said Popeye kids <laughs> And cut. Why, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, what are you that doing? That you were worried about. You do something you said. Honestly, we're seven minutes in. All right, well, that's going to have to wait for another time. Did you do something bad? Uh, okay. We got to the point. The guys got to remember. Seven. We got seven minutes Seven minutes in, finally. Right after Kennison. And no, right no, after Kennison, they're, they're about to play Good Electric Shock OJ Live, which is not bad whatsoever. That was the song that uh, brought Anthony to my attention. I started playing the song, and then this is their first visit. What was it about show. his first per- first time in there, seriously, that made his, you think? His voices and just how quick he was. It was amazing how quick he was. You know, when you're a radio guy, you're, you're always hoping to find someone you can bounce off of. And we're, whatever we were talking about, he had something to say about it. Well, I didn't, right I didn't know about, about his thing back then. So he was still in the band with Joe? Yeah, and he was a tin knocker and all that, yeah. So did, did Joe know that, that he actually wanted to get into radio? At Joe was the one that kind of pushed it. Joe was the one that would show up at the back door at BAB, banging on the door. I'm like, oh, it's this Joe guy again. Joe was plugging the band Just constantly. pushing hard, and like you, I, you might want to play this on the show. And uh, uh, unlike the Godsmack, uh, you know, the... De- Debauchery. I I actually listened to the stuff and went, holy shit, is this stuff good? Uh, they were oh, great at song. What happened? Godsmack gave you a tape way back in the day. And you didn't I listen. threw it in a river. Threw it out the window into. Sully was a friend river. of our show. He was he would come on a, a lot. Oops. And and we he was doing some kind of drum. Uh, uh, what is it called? Solo. No, like a what's the word? Like circle. A, uh, 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 snare drum, bass drum, seminar, I had like a seminar, um, like a like a clinic, clinic, a drum clinic, and we clinic. broadcasted live because it was a big client up there at one of the music stores. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, <laughs> and <laughs> trying then, to be like the old Anthony. And then um, yeah, he's like, hey, this is my new project, and he gave us a disc. He gave everybody in Boston a disc. A and, disc, yeah. And at that point, we were hey. so. At that point, we what were a dick. We listen to so many band tapes. It's like no one is going to give us anything that's worth listening to at this point. So my friend was in the car with me. I said, "Dude, roll down the window," and I actually threw it into the. I think it's called the Connecticut River officially that goes through Boston. Uh huh. And threw it. And then that same tape was given to another jock at AAF, and he basically broke the band. And every article that was written about Godsmack for the first three years, they mentioned this guy. <laughs> they mentioned this guy as the guy that broke the band. Because one day he just decided, the story goes, I don't know how true it is, he decided to play it on his own. You know, this... this uh, yeah. Cool was it Rocco? Was it? Yeah, it was Rocco. Yeah, yeah. dude. All right, Ant, we're seven minutes in. You're playing Gun Electric Shock OJ Live. You want to hear that or you want to bail? I don't, you know something? Well, get it over with. I did not want to hear the Sam Kennison. So I'm you're glad right with I wasn't that? in the room. All right, you're all right oh. with that? Because it, it's awful. It was like... It was like just set up, and hey, l- look who's in the studio. And then I, I, you know, I had to do it. I, I, I wanted to, you know, perform. It was kind of throwing a like a fish. Yeah, to the it was seal. the performing seal. So I had to do it, but th- there really wasn't any context to it, and uh, it's just embarrassing. The fun part of that was the beginning when you went, uh, yeah, hi, Opie. Like you said hi to Opie as Sam. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know something, Jimmy? Uh, wow, I wish that was the fun part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, some, I love there's a, Jimmy. There's a, few, <laughs> there's a few people saying that, you know, this stuff is better than most shows on radio today. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Who is who's calling the deaf? <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Fucking awful! Uh, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm I think oh darn, oh darn is a funny clip to have like in the box. All right, I, I do. You should hit that sometime. <laughs> it's, it's actually a silly one to have. Uh, it's silly. It's, nothing is worse than shut up okay, as yeah. a one second sound. Yeah, but clip. we don't really have that. See, it's the authentic tape. Yeah, if you actually oh. had that moment yeah. of embarrassment. Yeah. All right. Why don't we? Um, you want to hear Gun Electric Shock OJ live? This Any is the song time. that this was live, huh? This is live, and this Ooh. is this is the reason we do a show to this day. Oh, we got to yes. hear this. This was back when uh, this uh, is the song we talk about in articles from time to time. OJ, uh, of course, we know what OJ did, and and b- before his trial, though, everybody knew he was guilty and assumed that uh, he'd be put to death, death penalty, and that's what the, the song was, was kind of about. And uh, yeah, in hindsight, this song really. And you've taken a David. you've taken a beating. I've I've been relatively unscathed here, except for a darn in the nighttime attitude and a couple of dumb things. But I, yeah. I do have a motive here. I'm trying to get to the point that will completely make me leave, and and that oh, douche. Well, that'll probably come with a f- 
end of a phone call or well, something. Uh, like. And I think we're heading toward a, a phone call. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Toward disaster. So here's uh, Rock Out doing an electric <laughs> shock OJ live okay. back in '94. Joe's very good with guitar work. I'm sitting in Los Angeles jail. And that judge won't let me post my bill Now this could be the end of me Cause California's got that death penalty They gone electric shock, OJ Cook my behind like a chicken croquet Ooh, they gone electric shock, OJ Toast my behind Nicole, I really loved that girl But she had the worst luck in the world I was only cleaning my knife I accidentally stabbed her 36 times <laughs> They gone electric shock, OJ Cook my behind like a cherry flambe. Ooh, they gone electric shock. OJ, toast my behind. Looks like I'm a guilty man. Love lots of women. Now I'm gonna have to love my hand. But what's worse? Well, make me flip my lid I hear Michael Jackson is watching my kids Why don't they cut me some slack I'm an athlete, movie star, and I'm black While lawyers argue over my hair Why they be warming up that electrical chair on electric shot, OJ. Cook my behind like a flounder fillet. They gone electric shot, OJ. Throws <laughs> my behind. Who oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, that hurts? hurts. <laughs> give me a cough. Give me, give me, get out of here. I was in Chicago as well. I wasn't even a girl. Like, woo, 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 ah, woo, woo, ah. Woo, 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 woo. They call the electric shock, OJ. Boy, I do that whistle better than any better. Though. Bravo. Uh, uh, um, good improv. That was Lucky. not written by that, a professional. That was a comic. slower version of the uh, of the song, by the way. Now you slowed it down slightly. Uh, well, it really wasn't that bad, Ant. But you know, the shocking sound back. Effects. In yeah. 1990 fucking four, it was topical. <laughs> it was very topical. I really want. Come to get, on. I really want to get to a phone call. It's not bad, dude. I mean, it's like the guitar work is actually really impressive, and it's like it's not. Joe what? can play yeah, anything. Joe's, great. Joe's an amazing guitarist. Anything. He's amazing. I uh, I will start uh, banning um, critics on Pal Talk. <laughs> uh, here, first of all, just as a, like a warning, I'm just firing a random shot. Boom, you bounce. Look at that. Just somebody out of nowhere. So I, I wield my iron fist. What kind of critics? What are they criticizing? It was written by a, no, written by a guy who was not a professional comic. It was you, you were a guy who just fucking who had a, a knocking ten and you wrote. Thanks a, for a, your sympathy. But that's true though. Like I was doing comedy for th I was on television when I did what I did. You were just a guy with his brother who fucking wound up blowing up and into a, a radio star. I was uh, on television. I was in comedy. He's helping me. But it's the truth. Believe me. There's nothing I want more than to I trash wanna... you. But it's not accurate. I want to, I want to, I want to. All right, let's see if we can move on here. I want to get, that bad. A little get bit out more. of this. <laughs> We're almost there. No. It's not that bad, Anthony. Keep playing it. No. Hey, Joe, I think you did whistle better than that. <laughs> no, no. We're hanging out with Rod Good on the Nighttime Attitude. They got a song about the guy that crashed into the into the White House. Oh, that kook. That we're going to debut in a, in a few that you're going to love. And if you got quarter. something to add to the program tonight, give us a call. 955-WBA-BAY. Sometimes he's going to make it. <laughs> oh, it's 
Fantastic. Music. 102% Long Island. We're WB. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's more than 100%. That's a lot of Long Island, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a small 2%. No one talks about it. Right, uh, oh, this is a small little town in the middle of Long Island that doesn't get any attention. <laughs> What's even better is the awful music you're coming out of into that crap. <laughs> this is unbearable, oh dude. I'm, I'm Look how red you are. You're totally red. I'm fucking sweating. I am sweating. <sighs> I can't sit through this. One hundred and two percent. One hundred and two percent. Yeah. <laughs> Look how red you and are. And it was a home of rock and roll. I worked for three homes of rock and roll over oh. the years. The nice. Nighttime attitude. I worked for. Wow. Oh, I think I worked for two stations named after animals, and one station that really rocks. <laughs> <laughs> 955 five WBA Bay. Sometimes it's gonna make it. One hundred and two percent Long Island. We're WBAB Babylon WHFM Southampton. Thanking everyone in Hop Hog for showing the world they love rock and roll. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Yo, BAB. Hey, kiddo, how you doing, Mickey J? I gotta tell you about this. Well. Yeah, oh, by the way, uh, oh, bit no. over in 30 seconds. <laughs> I know, I, I'm kind of thinking Darren back now and going, uh oh, fucking T. Uh oh. Bit over in 30 seconds, but, Man, um, this is so bad. Mickey, I can't. Mickey, uh, cause you're gonna forget about Mickey J by the end of this phone call, unfortunately, but Mickey J was a raging alcoholic from Montauk that, uh, unfortunately died. He had, <laughs> he drank too much and ended up going for a swim and they never found his yeah. body. Uh, but um, he used to call my show all the time, and he was called the uh, the mayor of Montauk, I believe. He was one of those guys everybody knew. Everyone knew him. He was drunk. And he would always come up with some hilarious, just dumb thing. Yeah, he had about. like uh, uh, his own weird take on the news Unfortunately, not going to remember and... that in a few seconds here. But No. Hey, kiddo. How are you doing? Nicky J. Yeah, what's the, happening? The mayor of Montauk. How are you, bro? Uh, what do you think about the OJ now, man? The DNA came in and said his blood is true. His blood is true? Yeah, it's what, his blood. What do you mean his blood is true? Well, they said with the DNA, right? they said it's his blood that was on the path of his house there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better find some good drugs, OJ. <laughs> Don't Obviously pull yourself, boys, the... going up your poop tube. <laughs> Wait, what was that line again? <laughs> Don't fool yourself, boys, going up your poop tube. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell Rocco, send me a piece of uh, pizza when he comes out this weekend. <laughs> Who's Rocco? <laughs> your buddy's there, right? <laughs> they ordered a pizza. Hey, it's Rocco's pizza. Well, that would be rot gut, but close <laughs> enough, bro. <laughs> you want to sing a song tonight, buddy? Well, how about a little Zeppelin? Rodko wants to play while you sing. Okay, go, man, go. All right, uh, which one do you want to sing? Good times, bad times? Yeah, there you go. All right, whenever you're ready, bro. Okay, go, man, go. In my days of my youth, I was forward to be a man. Have my share when the woman comes around again. I don't seem to care. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey J. Yeah. All right, good. Dog. What happened? What? Uh, it, uh, I'm safe. Yeah. yeah I don't know what. There. I'm safe for now. The it's Mickey safe. J call was fine. Yeah, I know. I'm safe. Mickey J was very funny. Yeah, I'm safe. He was all drunk and singing. So what do we? What do you say from? What festive. do we miss? Exactly. I'm safe. Yeah. Until next time. What'd you do? Yeah. We right. can't. We can't. Yeah, dwell still, on come on. This. How about a I teaser? Mean, How about a know. teaser? I'm, what? I'm safe. What happened? Just a teaser. Yeah. What? What is the? the cause I, I really don't know what it is. What is the? the, the Mickey J actually did it, but I didn't yeah. do it, so I'm safe for now. We've already given them 102 percent of this. Bit. <laughs> I don't want any more. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Wow. Secure this, then for next time. Secure it? Yeah, I don't mind. Put it in the fucking garbage. I don't mind for now. Hide that. Wow. Make sure Ant doesn't see where you put that. Okay. No, I'm safe for now. We'll just keep it like that. I wouldn't destroy a relic like I'm that. I'm just a...
Ah, I've been a, I've been doing this a long time. This is this is called the ultimate tease. Now people are gonna be like, well, "Safe from They more. heard a little more. They heard a little. They got more. to hear a little more. There's actually another. Uh, there's like three more tracks. Let yeah. me see. All right, there's like four left on that track, then another nine, that's 13, then another 10, that's 23, and another 12. We have about 35 more minutes to get to the no end. No way that. I could sit through 35 minutes. We did 12 today. That's the best we've done so far. That's a long, that's a long, that's a long piece. That is long since we could not make it through like a minute the first time we did yeah. this. But I did have to How leave. About- yeah, I left my to. post. We literally, the first time when we tried, he punched out after, I don't even think it was a minute. I think no, it was no. 20 seconds. It was hello. It was my first like, hey. hey and, then, <laughs> and he threatened to quit the show. Fucking we had a hack. Stop. No joke. He was like, <laughs> you, <were a> hack. <laughs> you were too young to be a hack. A hack is a guy that does old stuff over and over. You were just eager. You were a douche. There's a difference. <laughs> 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 Let's say hi to Brent in Rhode Island. Brent. <laughs> hey, what's up, fellas? What's up, Brent? <laughs> Hey, you guys need to make some of these awful old lines with a little Roger Daltrey scream. Oh, uh, yeah, CSI you need some of that scream. CSI scream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little CSI with some of these old bits. There you go. Very good. All right, listen, a lot of people want us to continue, but uh, that's that's a good place to leave it for now. For now. Yeah. See, we gave him more than we've Honestly, ever given before. If the thing I'm talking about was right around the corner, I really don't know. I would, I, I would have no problem throwing myself under the bus, but for now, we'll just keep it there. Oof. We gave you enough. If you don't like what you see here, get the funk out. <laughs> Why? You know what's funny? I gotta watch that show now. I don't get it. I guess in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just the beginning. Uh, we got Tippy Tom from Pal Talk. Yes, Tippy Tom. Yes, can I speak to 102% Sam Kinison, please? <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Why? <laughs> Oh, I don't know if that was 102%, Sam. That was more like yeah, 12%. Uh, yeah, 12%, 12% Sam. 12% Sam. Sam. I'm never going to fun people faster in my 80, life, by the 88% way. 88% excited douche. Excited <laughs> drunk douche. That spiraled out of Sam voice quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It was kind of I miss Popeye, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jimmy. Thanks. But it was you were young. You do you do I, brilliant impressions. Oh, I, oh. I can't hang up on these people fast enough. Uh, Jeremy in Cleveland, what's up? Hey, guys, 102% home of Rock and Roll. Is that the rate of your fucking T-cells trapping, faggots? <laughs> All right. The rate of T-cells trapping at 102%. It's a little harsh, sir. Yeah, well, really. Hope was excited. Aunt was excited. Don't even uh, call them homosexuals. Let's and, go to you know, John in Jersey. John. radio and comparing it to the AIDS hey. virus is a bit yeah. much. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, John. Hey, what's up, AIDS. I've never you seen the phones going. ring quicker in my life, yeah, by the way. I haven't given 100 you haven't given 102%. you got to keep going. Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Let's take a break. i got to tingle. That's yeah, a good I, idea. Ow. I always right, like hearing from the i got to just so. lay back and breathe. Opie, I think a big part of the show is interaction. I would love to hear All right, a let's couple say, more. All right, uh, you want calls. interaction? Here you go. Josh in Tennessee. Josh? Hey, guys. Hey. I just wanted to... I just want to remind y'all, this is why y'all were millionaires. Why are y'all complaining? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it isn't. <laughs> All right. I mean, I would, I would do anything in the world to be where you, you guys are today. Is this Dr. Phil's first tape? I know, right? <laughs> wow, this <laughs> guy <laughs> really sounds like Dr. Okay. Phil. Everyone's saying that would be the Charles River, uh, Opie, you fuck. Jeez, why are they so angry because you made a river There's mistake? There's more than one river in in the Massachusetts yeah. area. Isn't there a Connecticut River that goes through the, a lot no, of the states? No, there isn't, you cunt. <laughs> There's only one of them. <laughs> You're <laughs> dead. The fucking Charles, you cock but sucker. Of course the boss oh, guy. It's, it's the Charles River. No, no, I, you know what? No, I know of, of the Charles River. I'm just being a I don't know how many there are. Fucking get me a map. What am I, up there counting rivers? Oh, well, well, this yeah, guy map. wrote it four or five times. I'm telling you, there's uh, one of the rivers, when you go north of the city, you, you cut through and you go over the Connecticut. River. He's one of those guys who hasn't oh, traveled, Van? so he doesn't realize that once you get outside your own hometown, no one gives a fuck. Yeah. I believe the Connecticut River runs north through Connecticut, obviously, and Massachusetts, and it kind of serves as the border between New Hampshire and Vermont. Than wow. Than McNally. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> There you go. There you go. And see? even if you were wrong, it's like that's not that. It's not like you said the Nile. You know, I mean, it was, <laughs> it's close enough. 
Yeah, give me a little slack. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. It's not like you said the Mississippi. I threw it into the <laughs> Nile. <laughs> Dude, fucking ain't in Massachusetts. <laughs> fucking keep it to America, ladies. Yeah, Nile. I'm going to let you slide oh, if you said Mississippi, funny. but not. <laughs> you were off by 4,000 years, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, put we got a CD in a little basket and set it off adrift. <laughs> we have <laughs> this was brought in to make us feel better. Uh, we got DD's basement Ooh. from Saturday night. All right, let's hear a recent lousy radio show. We're gonna do that next. We got news bloopers where uh, the reporters say stuff like cock piss, infunctions, and lesbians instead of Lebanese. All right. That's on the way. <laughs> what about, uh, do we have Mike Woods? Is there anything there or That's no? That's the one I was handing oh, okay. up. The nice. last tease. Uh, Fox, Fox 5 did an American Idol spoof with our favorite weather guy, Mike Woods. And uh, with American Idol starting tonight, this is supposedly really, really douche chilly. We'll get into that as well. Time to take some leaks, boys. <laughs> ah, pressure. All right, we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, Ann was making a good point about the, you know, the first show we played a little bit. It's the first we've gotten in into that tape, oh. sixteen, uh, twelve minutes in, and uh, and Ant reminded everyone during the break that you got to remember, I was I, I I wasn't doing radio yet. You know, I was a guest on the show, and then the next day I was back in an attic yeah. with you know banging away. You were a disc jockey who was trying to like. I was trying eek, to eek, carve something original out. Yeah, I was trying to, um, you know, move, yeah, you're, move you're, forward. Yeah, trying to hone a craft. And I was a construction worker on a one-day guest shot on your show right. because I wrote a wacky fucking song about right. OJ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it and that turns into this empire. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Holy fucking... Uh, How did that happen? And then there's uh, a, a morning guy. We'll let him slide today because he, he is kind of a friend of the show. But he was the morning guy back then at BAB. And um, he started playing the stuff Ant and I were doing at night and trying to make believe it was his stuff. And there's Anthony hearing his own voice on BAB from a really hot attic. From an attic or a the rooftop guy would, somewhere. Or... The guy would play one of the song parodies or whatever, one of the voices uh, Ant did the night before. Just play it like, hey, we got Sam Kinison uh, on well, the phone. I, or I whatever. Hope not. <laughs> or, or whatever. Yeah, I'm just trying to get an example. And just make believe it, 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 it was connected to his show. Yeah. And never said, you know, this was Anthony from, you know, last night. Or any of that crap. Then they offered me your job. When then they we, offered then me, we, yeah. When we got we got a job to go to Boston, we finally, you know. The deal the was, call. I'm hiring you and Anthony to do yeah. afternoon drive at uh, AAF. And I, I was thrilled. Was that like, was the job. It it's a fucking gig. I'm in radio. And then uh, they came up to me and said, um, look, uh... You know, if Opie goes up to Boston, that's 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 fine and all. It's like, no, it's me and Opie going up. To, yeah, we know, we know, but you know, he could still go. He he does radio, knows his job. He could go up there, and, and this is why this fine. This is why this business stinks. He'll do fine, but we would like you to take over his shift down here. <laughs> you stay at BAB from seven to midnight, which would have fucked my got, whole fucking career up. By the way, fucked everything up. And first of all, I'd have failed miserably because I didn't know how to do radio. Yeah. Obviously, especially alone. And, and, you have been uh, drunk, just goofing off with your friends, playing fucking guitar. Exactly. And missing so, breaks. So. Not only that, who who in that place wouldn't have fucking hated me? I just come trotting in. I need a board op because I don't even know what the fucking thing looks like. <laughs> and there's some asshole who's been eking out weekends for fucking ever that would like to, a little step up. And I step in there. Hi, I'm the new night guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they would have killed me. I'd have been Bud assassinated. in your hand. Yeah. Hey, fuck it. I'm drinking. Uh. And Ope would have been up in Boston. And I would have been, you know, because I would have lost, you know, the following I did build up at the time. It just would have been a clusterfuck. So but that's, that's BAB, why radio stinks in then. Instead in the of BAB end. giving us afternoons there uh, and seeing what would have uh, happened. What, what is the whole mindset there? Hey, why pay two when we could only pay one? Yeah. What do you mean? Like that? Why? Why would they? If it was working between the two of you, why, why wouldn't they move us up, up to afternoons? Yeah. BAB was one of these stations that uh, I was uh, the first hire. 
first full time hire in like a decade. You know, it, they, it's the they type. They didn't of, change shit. It was the type of place DJs basically died there, basically. So I was like the first uh, full time hire for many, many, many years, and now it was like that was dramatic enough, changing the lineup. But now to take this uh, this show and move it into one of the the big time slots like afternoon drive or mornings, they're, they're like, what are you insane? We can't do that. We don't know how that oh, would work. Oh, There's not a chart for that. Oh, There's no chart for that. We're, we're afraid. Yeah. What was it afternoons? Like it was, it, was it a show or was it just music? Uh, yeah, it was a show that was doing well. Who was it? Ralph? I, I, honestly, no, Ralph was doing middays, I believe, oh, back then. Right. It was either Roger or uh, Jerry Martier. I think they were Jerry. Splitting, splitting used to the do shift. Jerry's Gin Joint, which was a very, very creative, very show. popular, yeah. creative show. I used to listen he would on make Friday. Believe, he would make believe he's in a bar every Friday for a happy hour, like he's doing a live broadcast from a fucking bar with sound effects and everything, and you would swear. He was in a fucking Dude. bar. It was, and I was I was radio savvy because I I got into this very young. I believe right. that he was at a bar. Yeah, I thought it was simple as that. He's like, hey, we're over by the pool table now, and you'd hear like he was in a cold people studio. shooting pool. <laughs> he was in a cold studio by himself, making believe he was in a bar broadcasting. Sound effects, jukebox, making it was believe a party, girls, making believe girls were dancing on the bar, and he just had all the sound effects perfect. He fucking made a party. He's sitting there alone, and it was a fucking bar was that it? you listened to and went, "I fucking want to be there. I want to fucking be at this party going the on station, in this bar." You know, the station would get phone calls every Friday. Where is this? Where bar? is it? Because he would he would explain where it is, sort of like <laughs> yeah. we're in like uh, the outskirts of Babylon on man. you know just off three forty seven near. So it was hey, like, if you're by, stop yeah. in because we're having a great time here. Or, you know, wow. get here soon because uh, they're not going to let any more people in the night after another 10, 15 minutes. It was always like beer, big enough where it could popping. be possible. Beer's popping. Yeah, you're like, yeah, we're we're buying buying hey, beers. Joe. Hey, Bill. Yeah, give me three. And you, Action like, over at the dartboard. Right. We'll, uh, you'll be... <laughs> Like, holy shit, there's a fucking party going on. Why aren't we there? And it was, it's just some guy in a studio alone. Yeah, just hitting pushing buttons, buttons and crumpling up paper in front <laughs> yeah, of the microphone. Yeah, <laughs> pushing buttons and just talking over sound effects and crowd noises. It was great. That was a bummer when I started working there and I realized that it, it really... Well, where's Jerry's gin joint? I walked in one day and it was so depressing. just sitting there in a cold studio. I'm like, holy shit, you're, you're, like, you're doing happy hour every Friday. <laughs> Wait, now, is this guy doing a regular show and then every Friday do that? Or that was his only gig? Uh, I think someone hear an air do, check. I think he would do a regular show and then Friday. Yeah, I would love to the, hear an air check. Friday uh, afternoon happy hour. He's got a he's got a good gig here in New York. He does uh, Q104 still. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he's got he's an air check. A, I, I hear him every once in a while. I actually heard him over the weekend doing a show. So. Yeah, that was something. Yeah. Anyway, I'm creative for the time, especially. Yeah. Hey man, is Tom like is sick? Someone said he's really sick. Is that true or no? No. Oh, God hope. So. Come on. <laughs> God hope so. You're not gonna get a darn from me today. <laughs> <laughs> unless, you, unless someone says no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, darn. exactly. Is no. he still? He's not on out here, is he? No. I tried to be sick. I don't know. I do the same show every, every day. day. Tom Likas. One topic per hour. Uh, I'm Tom Likas. Go to the phones. Bob from a car phone. Let's talk about girls with yeast infections today for the next hour. Talk about the topics. You. Oh, really? Shut up. Why is it that guy, girls like guys that are Italian? What is it? He actually went off on that one day. Why is it like the tall, dark, and handsome guys or the guys that are... What? What? You bitches. <laughs> like us 101, teach you how to hate women. Hit them with a U-log during Christmas and throw her in the fireplace. <laughs> Allegedly. Why? Is Even though the police have a report. <laughs> <laughs> there must be some ghost sightings out there, because uh, all over instant feedback, they're just writing boo uh, a million times. Oh, really? Like boo, 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 boo? Yeah, there's like boo... Boo. Boo. How do you know it's that tone? Like, can't the can it be spoken lower? Like, boo, boo, or or maybe even higher. <laughs> I don't know, man. And then someone... yeah, like like boo, boo, boo. And then Jim from New Brunswick. Hey, oh, what's Yogi Bear's little pal's name? <laughs> you queer. Thank you, Jim. Always guess, a pleasure. Guess it was you. memorable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Fox 5 Morning News does American Idol impressions. This is with Mike Wood. 
Ah, uh, uh, Mike Woods. Mike Woods. Uh, yeah, I think it's Mike Wood. Bill Wood, Burr playing Woods. the DC Improv this weekend. That's right. Have you been there before? Yes, it's a good yeah. reminder. Uh, yes, it's a wonderful room, and it's got a nice wide alley to make it to the stage. It's wonderful construction. Yeah. I've never been there. Oh, you never been there? Is that a problem? Oh, I thought you had been there. No. Jim, which one did oh, you, you play back along. in the day? They, the way they designed it is the green room is in the back, and then there's the stage. Oh, And I shit. guess to just, you know, keep the performers being able to get to the stage quickly, they put a curtain along the side of the wall and then the front... <clears throat> part of the wall that leads to the stage that is maybe, I don't know, about six inches wide. And as you walk through, you're literally bumping the asses of the customers as you walk up. And the, the weirdest thing ever is when you get off stage, you walk, what, has you already told this story? No, no. I've never been there. When you go to get off the stage, why do you feel like I'm the douche right now? You're not. I'm no one Wow. Oh, God That's forbid right. no, you're the douche for once. Yeah, Jesus, Sam, Maybe because we were, you've been looking at people that felt like they were the douche for uh, <laughs> about an hour and a half. We still got no, the, I just I just sensed the laugh that got the was, douche was, out of was, our faces. Was, was, That's what oh, No, I'm kind of fascinated by the way they set this. So anyway, so when you get off stage, if people enjoyed your set, you're walking. It's like a haunted house. You're walking along this black curtain uh -huh. and these arms... Are kind oh, of pushing shit. through, grabbing at you, <laughs> grabbing at you through material, <laughs> and then also they kind of figure out after the first two performers that that's where you walk through. So as they're introducing you, people on the other side of the curtain, you can't say, "Have a good show, Bill." <laughs> then you walk in, <laughs> giving you a pep talk. What a dopey way to do that! It's really freaky. Somebody reached through and like, I don't know, stole your wallet. You know, like kind of like <laughs> squeeze squeezed my shoulder, and it was just it was fucking these freaky. faceless hands just coming and groping yeah. you. It was awful. Yeah. Now every O and A person, I'm going fucking going to see I'm just waiting for you to curtain. punch back through the curtain. That's something you would do. Just like <laughs> pop some dude. <laughs> no, Knock I'm, it I'm, off. I'm more the inanimate object guy. Yeah. All right. Hey, let's let's do the Fox Five Morning News does American Idol impressions, please. Simon, Randy, and Paulie get ready for the next contestant. This is uh, Mike Woods as uh, Randy. Uh, the blonde broad who uh, put on a, 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 a black wig, wig, a dark wig, to be right. Paula, and then some other dude, uh, jo Joella, Joella, Mark Joella, Mark Joella, keeping it local for the New Yorkers, Mark Joella, yeah. um, doing. Uh, They're the same douches you have in your city, just with different names. Believe me, they look the same, they act the same. They're news douches. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm scared to go to this phone call. Uh, I, Jim from New Hampshire. Uh, Jim? Hey, Jim. Jim? Jim. Jimmy! Jim, you're on the air. Whoever from New Hampshire. Say hi. Speak. Everyone on the phone, just say, hey, how you doing? We're what a up. douche bag. All right, good. Damn it. I wanted to hear that. I don't know what that was. I don't remember. I'm being completely honest. I don't know if I used to say that. He's saying I used to say, uh, we're doing the hang and bang. But no, wasn't that what we used to goof on? I hope so. I don't but remember. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, yeah, well. What was that? All right, here we go. <laughs> and that looks like Randy, Paula, and Simon hanging out waiting for the next uh, the next victim. I was almost fooled. You can barely tell the difference. <laughs> you guys. Exactly. You guys are looking good. <laughs> looking real good. Simon Watch is mouth. grumpy already, but we got to tell you, we love New York City. It is the city where dreams come true. You can be all that you want to Paula, be. Paula, Paula, please. If cliches were crimes, you'd be headed up the river already. <laughs> oh, come on, dog. You're always oh, in such a bad mood. Oh, <laughs> Mike just goes, oh, come on, dog. And then nothing. All nervously. Oh. I wasn't sure if it was the right time. <laughs> I figured he would give it a shot. <laughs> he has the worst <laughs> improv. He has, like, no, no feel for it or whatever. He just knows he has to say that line somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> and he opens with the catchphrase. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. What an asshole. <laughs> Put that in the middle somewhere. <laughs> Kick it enough, this guy. You should at later. least say hello to Simon in the voice. <laughs> <laughs> You're always in such a bad mood. Appalling. What's wrong with you? Appalling. She's horrible. You can't find the right, a different color shirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Mike. That's Mike again. Poor Mike. Why, he's a weather guy. Why are they putting him in these situations? Oh, wait. I got to back up to come on, dog, and then he tries to do a little he better. He couldn't ask him, but he's a terrible. He can't. Cliches were crimes. He'd be headed up the river already. <laughs> oh, come on, dog. You're always in such a bad mood. Appalling. What's wrong with you? Appalling. She's horrible. You can't find the right, a different color shirt? <laughs> it's all you got. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
no. They both punched out. Oh, oh no. Jesus. They're in the bit with him and they punched out. They, they Well, they couldn't believe it was done. They're like, this, that was the punchline? Oh. <laughs> Please be applause. This is like douche chills in real time. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Play that part again, maybe. Headed up the river already. Oh, come on, dog. You're always in such a bad mood. Yeah, appalling. What's wrong with you? Appalling. She's horrible. You can't find the right, a different color shirt? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. Yeah, appalling. What's wrong with you? Appalling. She's horrible. You can't find the right, a different color shirt? <laughs> it's all you got is a black T-shirt? Randy, you look fabulous, <laughs> darling. You've been working out so uh, much. Yeah, well, I trimmed up a little bit, you know, a little tired. And did you? Me and the dog pound. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, I, I'm getting more douche chills than uh, wow. listening to our wow. show together. What a moment ruiner he is. Oh. <laughs> Could you stop playing this and put on my Sam Kinison? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, wow. He like waits oh. to the moment when the exact right time to say it. Then he waits to the moment where it's so bad it's <laughs> funny, and then he. <laughs> it just doesn't even make sense. It's like it's like he's calling in long distance. Holy cow! <laughs> Jesus, this is on like. TV in New York. You actually, you want to hug him. I wouldn't even tease him. I would just hug him if I saw him. You know there's a guy in like Iowa doing the weather hoping he gets a shot at New York weather someday? And, and this, this is the guy in the this way. this is the dope that's sitting in <laughs> yeah. the seat. He's doing <laughs> shtick. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, you know what's funny is the three of them will probably not even have a problem watching this tape at their Christmas party at the end of the no, year. No, they'll just all laugh. Just laughing and high five. Yeah. High five. <laughs> This is the greatest thing ever. Mike has to know, though. He has to know he stinks. He can't not know. He's, He's got too to know. nervous. He's got to know that we make fun of him, and I think that gets to his head. Of course it does. You can't wear the right different kind of shirt. He, like changes midstream. He trips up everything, and this is every morning when they go to him and try to carry on a conversation about something to then segue into the weather. He cannot carry on a conversation about anything. It's got to go to the weather. And then when he finally goes, let's go to the temperatures, you see him, him, he physically goes, oh, God, okay. I'm in my I'm, safe zone. Yeah, I'm in my safe zone. I'm just giving numbers on a map. 56 on Long Island. It's 58 in New York City. Uh, he, he's comfortable. But then she asks him something like, Mike, I see you're out there. Um, where are you? Uh, I see a park behind you. Park, park bench. <laughs> Benches at the park. Pidgey, good. Back to you. No ability to improv whatsoever. <laughs> we think it's more subtle. We don't know, but it, it makes us laugh every morning. So we Every to, morning we, we tune to in to, to, to him. He's horrid. Yeah. Well, if you want to see... What? Really bad douche chills. I was on the internet the other night and I was looking up some obscure bands and somehow ended up coming across uh, an album that Telly Savalas made. Ooh, yeah, Have I've heard, heard I've heard Can some of that. that? It Look is up, really I bad. I looked up the Ted Heath Orchestra. Okay. Was Why? It a, what? Because it was an album my dad had. Like he had just like weird obscure stuff, and I was Nostalgic thinking like the people actually have bag. this stuff, right? <laughs> So I looked up that, and I ended up getting on this site that just ended up having, like, it was a tribute to horrific albums. Oh, and Shatner Ted, on there, Ted Heath Orchestra was like, they were like this, this big band out of England, and they did all covers of Benny Goodman stuff, and they sold a lot of records. And then when rock music came in, they tried to do big band versions of, like, Beatles songs, dude. Ooh, and it was, yeah, it was horrific. No. But then what they did, they just had links to more horrific stuff, and they went to, like... Um, you know, Boo Berry, Frankenberry, and Count Chocula did like a disco song. It was it was unbelievable. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this shitting stuff. me. And then, oh, that, and sounds then, great. Then Telly Savalas, who can't sing, admittedly can't no. sing on the album cover. He he or something says it in the in the liner notes. It's all spoken word over music. Yeah. So he, he just talks. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. if you, if you could. Can you find it? Because I don't want to. I'm looking. It's really bad. I I got a tape of um. The Dinah Shore Show, Celebrities Sing. And it's only clips of celebrities coming on and singing songs. So like, Herve Villachez yes. was up there singing. Didn't he have a and mustache? Yeah. Herve? Yeah. yeah, what do you say? Herve. And, and it's, one of them was uh, Telly Savalas doing a, a song, and it's just awful. What did Herve sing? I don't know. 
Uh, uh, that's why I said, hey, man, nice shot. <laughs> what a good shot. Let's get that stuff on the show. If you don't like Tomorrow. what you see here, get the funk out. <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Completely changing gears because it's happening right as we speak. Yes. Thumbs up or down, Rachel Ray? Uh, down. I say down too. What is she? Isn't uh, Jay Moore? What is she? Rachel Ray? I don't know uh, what she do. She's the new like uh, cooking chick on oh. TV. Jay Moore? I don't know if he did our uh, our show. Hey, he Perhaps want, we could ask him. He doesn't want to do our show anymore. Uh, a little too early, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Um, he's aligned himself she, with another one. program. Yeah. Another show is uh, Jay Moore's new favorite show to go on, and Jay Moore is a new friend of that show. A uh, show that will remain nameless. Nameless. We won't acknowledge them anytime soon. Nope. No more kudos to that program. Good luck, fuckos. That's right. Um, you know, just for the record, I used to as a, as a reference... So, you know, Did you? I was ahead of the curve oh. on the Rachel Ray thing, and you guys, I got a car crash, I believe. I got completely yeah. trashed. There you go. Wait for what? <laughs> I'm Paul R. Nelson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, I knew this bitch was going to be big. That's all. Well, she kind of well, is, is around big. their hips. <laughs> I mean, that's what I don't get. A lot of people think she's really hot and sexy. She's like, she's got like a pear body. What is she doing? A cooking show? Yeah. Or is this just a it's part cooking. of her show? Oh, and her left boob is uh, definitely smaller than her right. Oh, fuck. That's not good. A lot smaller. Well, uh, nah. yeah, it, that one right there, right? In general, women have a smaller boob. One boob is yes. a, a slightly but smaller it, because it, something to do with the heart pumping more blood to that side of the uh, chest. Are you Wait, I'm waiting to see that look on your face again, Opie. <laughs> <laughs> that is not... That's the reason. That that's cannot the, be the reason. That's the reason girls have one, one boob uh, larger yeah, than well, the other. Sometimes one blood one being pumped is, to that boob. Yeah. But sometimes it's the other boob. <laughs> this is the best part, watching Opie lose confidence in what he's... <laughs> oh, do you find See, it? the reason is... I got away with this for years, you fucker. <laughs> I hate you. I'm sorry, You blow up everything. You I ruin really everything that's good about this show. Hey, you know, that's my uh, job YouTube, here. Uh, grab bag, celebrity music <laughs> video crossovers. Can we get some of this stuff for tomorrow? Because we're running out of show today. Where's Telly? Is that it? Huh? Was that the you website? You got Telly? Oh, that could be. Where's there's oh, Telly? Oh, there it is. That, that's the one. That's Telly. All right, let's get some one of those down. for tomorrow. Okay. We'll do a Damn little it, thing tomorrow. Get... Yep. God, we can't hear a little piece of it. Of what? Which yeah. one? Yeah. Telly? That one right down there. You got Telly? Telly. They're all horrific. Bill's got Telly. I have him on the Dinosaur Show. Oh, okay. Let's hear a little Telly. Oh, no. You want to hear the album. This is Kelly Savala. It is the album. The he lip synced. Dream of Delight. He couldn't even lip sync. Called interestingly enough, Telly. Telly. And it's there's some beautiful moments oh, okay. in this album. One of my particular yeah, like is one Telly's going to do now. It's called If Telly Savalas and his new album. He lip synced to this. He couldn't even spoken word do a spoken word live. Who would fucking play or buy this drivel? <laughs> He oh. said, he goes, I can't make a mistake because yeah, I'm not a singer. Talking. And they're like, why did they ask you to do this? He goes, why did you do this? And he goes, because they asked me to. I couldn't get mad at that. <laughs> <Really? laughs> yeah. Turn down the money? Yeah. I couldn't get mad at that. <laughs> How are you going to fault them? Here's a boatload of fucking cash. Just talk your way through these fucking popular songs. All the way. All oh, you got to hear him do the... Uh, that the Isley Brothers the world the song, you, you never close your eyes anymore it. really you never close your eyes oh yeah it's kind of relaxing yeah. but it's not awful because he's not singing slowly. yeah and I want to hear no, the Stavros you got to hear the one where he starts singing <laughs> yeah we'll try to find another one we'll Who's get some of these on brother? tomorrow let's get him on tomorrow yeah is he dead or no he's yeah. dead oh yeah I'm yeah. dead baby <laughs> I um I caddy for him you could him go into your kid because really? that was yeah. part of the Kinnison impression that's right he, uh, see, a little bit. You did get something out of your first performance. Hey, thanks a lot, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing, Bill? Sounds like Sam Donaldson. <laughs> Donaldson. <laughs> yeah, Telly was a guest at the Huntington uh, Crescent Club. I carried for him once. Nah. I uh, carried his putter for 18 holes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 He had parts of his body missing from cancer. Did he? Like a part a of his ear was seat. gone. I think he had half a finger on one hand. I don't remember anymore, but there were things missing. Oh, <laughs> how, how incorrectly did he smoke when you're losing a piece of your ear yeah. your finger? There's definitely a piece of his ear gone. 
smoking out of his fucking ear. Oh, he always held it in the same hand, and the smoke would float up right yeah. past his right ear. Who knows? All right, uh, you want to hear the second track? I don't think Mike Woods is uh, in this second track, really. They Damn it. Him. A contestant performs an original song for these guys this morning. All right. Let's listen. Sit back, take a listen to the song I wrote. I'm down on my luck, I'm feeling hungry and broke. I can't believe all that's happened to me. Took away my pride, my home, my dignity. People on the street no, treat me I, in your name. Oh, I think That's we should it. listen no, to him more. No, I, I think I've heard quite enough. Well, I like the hand movement. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he brought it himself. Please, make him stop. What do you think? If, if he wins the Good Day City Singers, it will have been an absolute, complete disaster. Wow. I think he could be the triple Come threat. On. I've seen movies, commercials, television. You know, you got to say, the man's got heart. He's got heart. He's got heart. He keeps on trucking. He keeps on going. He's so. made it his own. All right. Right. Woo! Fantastic! See, look at that. Now that, that's what I'm talking about right there. Do we have a keychain for him? I think we do have a keychain. What do you say, Simon? I'm going to leave right now. Oh, New York come City, on. come on. We've got some talent in New York City. Over there. <laughs> you know what the sad You know what thing? happened, and it was perfect oh. timing? After that god-awful clip and we went silent? The instant feedback screen turned off <laughs> by itself. Did you see that, yes. Sam? <laughs> Look, it's Just gone. Enough we said. We went silent, and they went silent. Wow. They're like, uh. <laughs> That's the closest oh, a computer can come to throwing up. Did yeah. you see that, though? <laughs> uh, yes. It was perfect timing. It just it, it went... <laughs> It went back to the desktop. That, by the way, is it, it's a news program. I keep reminding the Fidel people. Fidel Castro's about to die, and this is what they're doing today. The, more troops being sent to Iraq. There, there, there's plenty of time for the news, but they'd rather do a little skit on American Idol. All a little right. cross-promotion. Uh, TJ from Pittsburgh. TJ? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. I just wanted to tell everybody to uh, come out and see Bill Burr at the D.C. Improv this weekend. Thank and you. is there any way Billy could help me out getting tickets? No. How far is Pittsburgh? No, kidding. From oh, you don't want to send me the, uh, the email on MySpace? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay to stand in the back, man. Dude, I'll tell you how to get tickets. Google the D.C. Improv and get their number, and then call them, and they'll hold them for you. It's sold out. All the shows on Saturday are sold out. So come on Friday. Bill, he wants to I'm go to your show. I'm in Pittsburgh. i got to drive there. He's going to drive from Pittsburgh to see you, but he doesn't have a ticket. That's what he's getting at. Hook a man up. Yeah, I'll, ho I'll hook him up. How, how do we do this? I don't know how to do it. I'm he needs the hotel I room, too. He needs going to hook him up anyways, but now I'm going to get people. I'm in West Virginia. No, no, that's one and done. Uh, TJ, hold on the line. Bill will figure something out, especially if you're driving from Pittsburgh. That's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, TJ. Sure. All right, uh, and Jimmy's playing Chicago this weekend. Z three different zanies, yeah. That sucks. It's the way they do it out there because the downtown room is so small that they, they 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 can't afford to get comedians in the downtown room, so they pay you good to do one in Vernon Hills, the downtown room, and then one in St. Charles. Three zanies. Yeah, three zanies in wow. one weekend. Yeah, you do one Thursday, one Friday, one Saturday. One Saturday. Saturday. Who else does that? I don't know. Other clubs shuffle you around. Long like Island that. used to do it, but then they shut down the other club. Governor out east. There was yeah. two governors. Yeah, <laughs> governors of Levittown and governors of fucking England. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> and it was in like a horrible hotel lobby or something. Oh, it was just the Whatever. worst. Too hey inside. Jimmy, how did you do in the inside. Comedy Central uh, showdown? What showdown? The the special thing. What was Pe it? People vote. I never did a special for them. No, no, you they didn't? were doing some. Uh, never. Oh, that's right. Never. That's right, because we were going over the lineup on the computer, and we are commenting about all you guys. We made sure we didn't vote for Voss, because that's what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how'd you do? I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't, I I don't know, know how it works. I you know what my thing is? I, I, never, I never even I know what's even know going on. Worked. First of all, I never know what's going on. And then people will send me emails going... Hey, I, I voted for you in the uh, the Citrus fucking half hour special. It's almost like bowl games. I yeah. don't even know what they're talking the Citrus about. Citrus comedy bowl. What? Yeah, no, it, it comes down to like a friends thing. How many friends you got sure. and people who don't give a fuck. Going, hey, remember to take a moment out of your day. I well, don't give a fuck. Was it an internet thing or was it on 
TV. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. understand. I, know. I think I think whoever wins, they end up showing uh, their showing special. Their special. Yeah, again, like the top ten is like How I know. They like give you guys people. A, another comedy special. I can't watch anymore. I've seen the same comedy specials a hundred times each. <laughs> Who won, Dane? I don't know. You're going out on a limb there. I mean, he's uh, uh, yeah, if you got two million friends, I think it's a luck. All right, BodogFight.com sponsors line of the day. Ooh. Jimmy, what's Bodog Fight about? Uh, man, it's just so much to say. Like, they, people can gamble <laughs> online and stuff. I mean, it's a whole no, thing. No, not anymore. No, no anymore. I didn't think so. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> that, that they're against that. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Bill, BodogFight.com. Any thoughts? Uh, they should keep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what is it? Keep what? Keep uh, those, those kinds of dogs. I mean... When you breed dogs to fight, <laughs> no, there's no breeding of dogs. It, no. uh, Anthony Bodog fight. That's a great thing. To uh, double A, MCO. Right, Amco Transmissions, ninety nine ninety five, uh, full transmission flush. I'm just blurting out other sponsors. I I don't know. Bodog fight dot com. Bodog fight dot com. There was a tap out. Here is one of the runner up lines of the day. Darn. <laughs> 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 All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, these scumbags. Oh, you just knew it. Oh, I know what they're doing. Oh, no. That sent a little right, jolt through you, didn't it? Yeah. And you know what? We are canceling line of the day for no. today. No, we're not. No, come I on. I get 50% and he gets... No, Jimmy gets a percent, too. So how does this work? Hmm. 33. Oh, there's 20. There's 25. Well, let's see. Each. I'm a swing. I'm a swing state. All right, we'll go 25 percent each. I say no. I say we go home early. No line of the day. Eh? After trying to pull a funny, cute little joke, I say we're out. Well, I've always been a crowd pleaser, so I'm gonna have to say. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say go with the line of the day, Jimmy. Well, who won? I'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a tie. Bring in E Rock. Oof. E Rock's sleeping. <laughs> e Rock, do we do line of the day? Yes. Oh, that scary stare didn't do nothing to you today? Scary stare. How can He's wearing jeans from 1987. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Stonewash Rock. <laughs> well, he's losing all that weight. He had to get, dig into his closet and get the old jeans the out. The 501 Blues. Wow. Oh got to get the old jeans out. Oh, 501. <laughs> get your Capizio shoes and your members only jacket. Jesus. <laughs> Tell yourself a lover boy concert. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, just leaves dejected, right. rejected. Bodogfight.com. Here's another uh, runner-up line of the day. And nothing you have ever heard before will prepare you for the shock of <laughs> my baby is black. Starring Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. <laughs> From motion picture screen, Rick is at full maturity. <laughs> that sounded like uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Uh, that was very funny. Oh, very though. proud. And if uh, if the listeners behave, we'll do that tomorrow, by the way. They really did ruin it today. The they listeners. really did. Yes. We were so. about to play it, and, you know, they said what they did. Of course. And, of course, we couldn't play it at that point. What? Uh, here is today's line of the day. Here, here, come. Line of the day. Line of the day. It's uh, dwarfs got to get that. It's water on the brain. I know that much. It, yeah. It's called a shunt. Are you really kidding? Are you kidding? Are you really it's a shunt. shunt. I think it, I watch a little people, big world. I know all oh, about this stuff. I thought that was a short woman who was misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 yeah, you gotta give a little David Caruso. They're in, there. Their, they're in their canoes paddling for that one. You hit that one out of uh, the park. <laughs> <laughs> the proverbial park. San Francisco. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. kayaks uh, <laughs> over the right field wall. Yeah. Wow. Now we did a uh, line of the day. Now it's late. This is funny, though. Daryl in Chicago. Yes, sir. What's Long up, Daryl? I want to play what I learned today. All right. I I learned that it's an easy to get Ant in the fetus position by playing his first show. Punch it out. 
Yes, or the uh, he's he's a, he's he blew it. He actually had a really he had a funny great line. line on the screen. He had a, a funny line. line, and he fucked it all up. It was uh, the first show is Anthony's kryptonite, That's which is true. Line. I I I lose all power to do anything. I have to leave the situation, and and he wrote that. Or he said that, because apparently that's what Travis wrote. And then he comes out with that first show. Gets you had to leave the thing to punch you out. <laughs> you asshead. I hope you're as embarrassed with your call as I was during that whole segment. We Douche. talk about Travis's picture from uh, ten years ago. It's Whoa. adorable. We're going to bring that up. Then we got to also bring up Danny. Why? Did you know that when, uh, when uh, we got fired... From any W. Yeah. And uh, they were doing a news story on it. Um, oh, yeah. Danny was one of our supporters. Yeah, there was a little with his, rally. With really? his Yoko Ono yeah. glasses halfway down. And they were interviewing people in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And Julie they put Lennon. the mic in Danny, and there he was, sticking up for the show. Good for him. And, and coming up with probably one of the most original uh, lines to defend this program that I've ever heard, tell you the truth. Oh, you got it? On it, phone. He he, <laughs> he yeah. has it as his a ringtone on his phone. He he enjoys it so much. Sam, this fucking sadistic well, cocksucker. He loves torturing anybody in this place. Hold on, Travis is not off the hook though, because when we came back to radio, <laughs> this proves you, the listener, could work for this show someday. Yeah. We did our press conference at the Hard Rock Cafe for XM, and I decided it was such a great uh, day and moment. I'm taking pictures from the stage. And I uh -huh. looked at those pictures about a year a year ago. Yeah. And there's Travis as a fucking serial killer in the audience just staring at us on Dude, stage. Everyone that fucking works for us was there. Was there. That Dan day was there. Dan was there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was there, but I brought business cards. Dan gave me a business <laughs> card and I was like, Yeah, I'll pass this right along. Boom, I just throw it. As garbage. But Travis I has the creepiest look. He's just staring at us on the stage from the audience. But then my brother pushed you. Said uh, you were a good shit. Yeah. All right. I just concentrated on the shit part at the beginning <laughs> and threw your card away. <laughs> we got Danny, though. We got Danny's thing. This is what he said as they, they did like a impromptu rally. We had nothing to do with it. and I don't know. There weren't a lot of people that showed up, but enough. And Danny was interviewed by Fox 5. And this is what he said. Very original defense for the show. Thank you. It's just a sexist show. No, not at all. Uh, we're, we're in, uh, the ONA show is an equal opportunity offender. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, terrific. That's funny. I'm funny. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. You dumb asshole. <laughs> God, you a fucking moron. I see the awful, terrible things in my life and turn it into something funny. Does anybody remember laughter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going. I'm running out, but I'm still going. Uh, uh, I, I didn't hear what he said. I didn't hear what he I get said. Nothing. I got nothing. Stop whining. Quiet. So to speak, literally. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to strangle you out of your own consciousness. All right, what else you got there? Well, I was going to say... We're did you the <laughs> Really? Wow. Did you notice right before I'm he... surprised we had to take two years <laughs> off. I mean, <laughs> can't right. understand it. Right before he said Opie and Anthony, he almost said, we're... Equal opportunity, and then he stopped himself wow. and said, "The opening." Oh. Well, a little foreshadowing there, my friend, huh? It was either that or he was going to kill one I have of to us. Change my course. shirt. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, a lot of douche chills today. Believe me. Wow. We could all be honest about that. All right. And Travis's picture. 
There's a picture of Travis. Um, <laughs> that was sent to me. <laughs> it's it? Travis and his uh, cat. What, was it when he was in that cult? And he was, in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, how old? Fifteen. Fifteen, yet you look nine. Was the cult leader already touching you? <laughs> <laughs> saying it was okay? Wow, you, you look like a little girl. I've always looked younger. You No, no, <laughs> I'm not just talking younger. You have no beard, you got long hair, and what's up with the half of a, half a dye job? Was that the oh, style? I don't even yeah, know. What, what was going on there? My hair was green for a while, and that was kind of it. Just he was hanging what out. What happened? Out he was hanging hair. out with lesbians, and he was trying to fit in. <laughs> yeah, it, you look like a, a young girl um, mm -hmm. with green hair. Had the green hair happen? The pool? No, I dyed it green. Oh, you dyed it green. Oh, my hair was all sorts of different colors. Oh, oh, easy. Rebel. Oh, wow. wow. Young and nurse in those little blue scrubs. And someone had a gray line. Then they're not saying it now, though. But he looks like Susan Smith. Oh yeah, yeah, a he young does. Susan Smith. That was said during the commercial. Break. Yeah. And he's holding a cat, and we're thinking you might have drowned that cat there. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I. You know what? That's the photo they they get when you get murdered. Oh <laughs> yeah. Put it Hell on the yeah. news, or you're missing. <laughs> The flyer on the fucking yeah. telephone pole. It's like, great, man. I fucking took a lot of other pictures. We don't care about the kid, but please bring back our cat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know. If you, you know what? If your high school photo ever gets shown on TV, you either became famous or you were murdered. Yep. Something horrific happened. Murdered. Yeah, or you're a murderer. Murderer. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's go home. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. How are I think that picture pups? needs to be put up on uh, some. It needs to be on a website so people can Photoshop it and have fun with it. Yeah, we MySpace can page. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll put it up on my MySpace. There you go. So then I get more hits. And you get some hits. I just yeah. want to uh, try to tell. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Travis has a young blonde. <laughs> are you <sighs> shitting me? That really, is I, you? Yeah. Is this I, on your MySpace page? No, they can be put up though. You should. Jesus. You'll get some hits today. Oh, I had blonde hair. I had red hair. I had blue. You just would dye your hair. Well, I, yeah, I yeah. had pink. <laughs> no, you I never just, did pink. You were just standing out from the crowd of Man. other kids with green, yeah, blue, Man. and yellow hair. <laughs> Are these all the, just the pictures of you? What? <laughs> I don't like the tough look on his face. Yeah. All right, tough guy. What Where did holding? you get these? You sure made up for the lack of facial hair, though. Now we could grow a beard in like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, what? What gives? Are when did that happen? A pumpkin in that picture? What are you? What, are you, what is that? that was he was, a, he was that. big into props back then. Yeah, <laughs> a cat, a pumpkin. He's yeah. formed hair like radar did, so he has to fucking hold something all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like board always. Yeah. <laughs> a disgusting radar hand. <laughs> he had a fucked up hand. I didn't. Know oh that guy. yeah. Oh my Sometimes you catch a little view of it. That was the best game ever. When when your friends finally told you that was going on, you would watch uh, watch Mash and try to get a glimpse of the dude. How hard did radar he kill that audition? Up. He just must, when he auditioned for Radar, he just must have had his hand, hand in like, his pocket. came in like Napoleon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we can't use you. Your hand's fucked up. And I held a clipboard in the audition. You think? Yeah. Dude, um... <laughs> yeah. First of all, he Bill, did, Bill did tried to start hands. something with Hide my cereal. <laughs> your honey puff. You try to start something, though. You're like, how's the cereal? Yeah. It's not that bad. It's honey puffs. Was I trying to give you shit on the I Opie and so. Anthony show? I think so. Hosh, I, I, think I think so. I think so. Because we went down this road one time with another cereal I used to eat. Well, I, never, I never forgot. That was the gayest cereal oh, ever munch? brought in. It was <laughs> faggot <laughs> munch. It was, uh, what the fuck was it? It's like good friends. Good friends. No, good it was friends. lean. No, lean on lean me. On. Oh, okay. or That's something. not any better. Honey puffs. No, this is all right. It's, it's really not that bad. That sounds like something you'd insert Coffee. in your ass and it would get bigger Jimmy, with the heat. I didn't know what it was. You eat this shit. I do. Honey, Kashi's, they're, they're great. Honey puffs is all right. I love them. Just the taste of cum out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I need some help. Something uh, to think about. A homework assignment. I was uh, hanging out in Starbucks over the weekend, playing Luminous Two for two and a half hours. Jesus, and you the are uh, hooked. And the regulars were looking at me like, "When is this fucking guy gonna leave?" Are your eyes like fucked up? Do yeah. You, like you, you. Yeah, they're bloodshot can't and dry. See straight. Every night when I go to bed and I get, I have a headache. Yeah. yeah, I'm playing too long. This is that I got that from playing solitaire on my cell phone. So Ooh. you know, yeah, Ooh. in an airport, just yeah, over and over again, 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 over and over again. Oh yeah, I'm there. Over and over again and over and over. Oh yeah, I'm with you. I could do it all day. Don't even challenge me. long. Over and over again and again and again. At what point does the voice say, "Okay, this is the last game"? 
that's a, that's a really good question. There's never a last game. That's the problem. Like, I have to fight it. Oh, mine's finally, the worst, like, I'm aware that I'm doing it. All right, I got to stop. Oh, really? I'm, I have I, to fight I fucking... it. I finally have to, like, try... As I'm playing a game, I'm trying to get my mind in, interested in something else, anything else, so I can, like, go, oh, wait, yeah, I really need to like pay the... Your vision? Pay my rent. Yeah, your <laughs> so, vision. You know, it's something. Man, I went around all day, like, all right. like, where I can't move my eyes without things spinning around from playing fucking... Uh, the hell am I playing now? I don't even remember. But uh, uh, Splinter Cell, double agent. By the way, we have segment into our after-show meeting here. This is just us babbling. This you is wear the radio a raincoat when you play it with a fedora. Yeah, it's exactly what I do. <laughs> How did you know? I need help with a bit. A fedora. The listeners could possibly help. Um, Jimmy, you go to Starbucks a lot. Maybe you could help. So I'm in Starbucks for two hours, and I was listening to the crap they play over the loudspeaker, and it's all. Women feeling strange about their feelings, and other women can relate because they all know how to cry. What the and, fuck is that? And, 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 and she has to go off and find herself what? type music. What? Isn't it XM? Yeah. Yeah, it is XM. Yeah. So, oh, XM d- has crappy channels. That's you're talking about is XM. God forbid we say XM actually has crappy channels, too. Yes, we all know that. It's the tampon channel. But I want to get a list of these songs together because when you really start listening to the lyrics of some of these songs, it's ridiculous. Re- Ridiculous. Well, can we get that off of... Uh, Relationships breaking up and one person understanding that the other person has to go find themselves. Oh, man. stop. It's like, no, man. They... they, they get the it hatchet. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Come around to the hatchet. But I'm on to something, but it's not quite there, so I need maybe people to maybe call in tomorrow with suggestions of, of songs that uh, kind of follow that uh, criteria. Because mm. they're made- ridiculous when you start listening to these songs. Hatchet. Are hatchets made in sweatshops? And if they are, why wouldn't you just kill your boss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to be happy employees at the hatchet factory. Like, how bad are the rest of the people? Because at this point, everything is made in, like, fucking Taiwan. You know they're mm. not paying them. Just yeah. Beating them with, with, like, a wet dress shirt that they just sewed together. <laughs> so I think a lot of hatchets are probably made in China. You'd probably make $25 an hour if you're making hatchets. That's probably a job Keep in China. employees happy. They Nothing. actually do hit each other in the eye with them, and just no one notices. Yeah. Maybe one last. Ow! People in the room. Oh, his eyes have shut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, out, out. Tim Z. Opie. We're not part of regular radio, you fuckhead. Anthony. We take nothing and make shit out of it. Okay, terrific. Los muchachos con queso. What a hot voice that is. Wonderful. Huevos grandes como melones. Ooh, 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 Robin. Punch out, shithead. The Anthony Show.